And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. I was 12 going on 13 the first time I saw a dead human being. It happened in the summer of 1959, a long time ago. But only if you measure in terms of years. Well, holy shit, finally it happened. A bonfire by a campfire. The crackle. Look, that's real crackle. Real crackle. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. This is a Lost Tapes, but it's at Comedy Camp. So it's also a mashup. Would yep. you know what, dude? Oh, my God. Uh, from Raya Cast. Uh, Robert Kelly joins us, everybody. Hi, guys. How are you? Robert, Ke- Robert Kelly join and the you, you know actually. what, dude, family. We join you, I join you. You join me. We join each other. Yeah, we but, did. We're by a campfire, and this is a uh, the first official bonfire, you know what, dude, crossover. Yes, well, but this is the I'm first. I'm catching the smoke now. I'm <laughs> the smoke. Well, hang on, guys. Here's the person who's going to murder us. It's official, but it hurts. <laughs> oh, I don't care for that. That's fucking Harry with his headlamp. Is this, is this oh, the is god really? of death? Not today. Is that the hook killer? <laughs> oh, God. Such a- Are you walking a meth out drug addict girl? Yeah. That was wordy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. We got it on the first part. Wasn't my best work. <laughs> this is the f- but this is the first official bonfire at a bonfire yes. yeah. this is. in the woods. This absolutely is. I mean, this is crazy. How many years have you been doing it? Uh, for, there'll Four. be five years in July. Five years in July, and this is the... Yeah. Now, this has to become a tradition. Four years. Right? We'll be entering our fifth year. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this should be a tradition for sure. I should say, there's, this campfire is not just us joining us. Also, we have Mike Feeney on a microphone. Hey, how's it from going? From the Irish Goodbye Podcast on Gas Digital Network. Very true. And Ari Shafir. I mean, dude, I'm just chewing smoke right now. <laughs> this is it. Why don't you just move back a little? No way, man. Move it here. This is my fire walk. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, through it? No, there's no way you're going to oh, last. Uh, <laughs> through the great spirits of smoking. Uh, <laughs> and when the tall white feels the woods Dan in all of his glory. Around him. You're just, oh! you're just inhaling oh. soot. <laughs> you know what, though? I feel pretty... I feel pretty goddamn cool. You know what we should do next year? Rent out the whole campsite. And hunt each other. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like your Winner gets the radio show. No, we yeah. hunt the open micers. Oh, that'd be so much paintball style. Yes, yeah, we do. Yeah, you yeah. bring them out, and bring this, them is out. A big, this is a good thing for you. We're going to oh, teach dude, you guys. We can go Mad Max style, get ATVs. Yeah, and Feeney and those guys really treat them worse than we do because they just don't like them because they were just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeney and like Sagalo, Brendan Sagalo here. Just he'll be on the mic later. Right? Yeah, kill with the slow weapons like the the crossbow and shit. Oh yeah, oh, we yeah. have to give them like what? Are, what's the one that you can whip it around? The mace. The mace. The mace. Yeah. yeah. Just take a one of those chain. to the thigh and then just kind of bleed out for a while. No. Ari Shafir back there. Hi, Ari. Hey, what's up, what's up yo? Yeah. <laughs> Ari's dressed like he's spelunking. He looks like he's going to go to a fucking... Ari Shafir's got an, a full outfit for every decision he makes. He really does. <laughs> it's like if you, if he was an action figure, you could buy camping Ari. You go, oh, I don't have camping Ari. I have drugs camping at Bonnaroo Ari, but I don't have camping with you know what camping Ari. Uh, Ari's dressed like he owns a petunia farm. <laughs> yeah. He goes, that's a good pick. The soil's really ripe on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I lost he, my life he dresses like he own, cancer. And then he has you know, a suit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Is that why you care so much about gardening? She it loved petunias. She loved petunias. <laughs> Terry was a godly woman. This is my Labrador. Oh, His name is Petunia. Becky Aria. Rodriguez. Ari's got a three-piece suit, and he goes all in on that, too. It's like made form. It's uh, some sort of velvet. It's you, uh, He looks like a, not Chuck Woolery. Who's the one that made all the shows? Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. What the fuck are you gonna put it on me for? Put it on your, put it on Dan. He knows that. <laughs> what the guy, the crazy guy? He said he worked for the FBI. And he invented all the game shows. Come on, yeah. Chuck oh, yeah. something. Chuck Smith. <laughs> That's what I like doing a show by. <laughs> Moving on, Chuck fire. Smith. You can't just Google something Thank unless you. Mike Suarez is on it. Thank are you, you looking it up? Yeah. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> Becky, just, thank you so much, you're Becky. Just getting outproduced. <laughs> Chuck Barris. Chuck this produced. is vodka, Becky. No. 
I'm kidding. No. Oh my god, dude! I thought we were. Well, about I'll tell to you what. I'll pop. tell you what. Yeah, yeah. That's not vodka. Trapped away for 20 years. He just chugs the yeah. entire glass. I'll tell you what. That was not vodka, but there is legitimately Bobby spit in my iced tea. Now. <laughs> It but was I'm a committed of, spit take. I'll give I'm you just that. Thinking of Bobby, alcoholic werewolf in out yeah. the woods, <laughs> just going. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I need it now. <laughs> dude, don't give it to it's me. It's my medicine, dude. Door. Yeah. <laughs> we have a fucking we have a bird box situation inside the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, don't look. I'm going to drive you through the campsite. <laughs> Black out all the windows. Yo, there is a dicey trailer park right by here. Oh yeah, a couple yeah, exits, a couple of exits early. We got a little lost and called Gabby. We were not in a good place. Like no one even thinks about wearing shirts. You know, Let me tell you something about trailers. I'll tell you Newburgh something. About, I know the murder capital of New York is what? Where we're st- Newburgh, the next town over Newburgh. Yeah, the murder capital of New funny story about Newburgh. I was dating a girl and we got an Airbnb in Newburgh right off the, the river. We're like, oh, she was a ghost Newburgh. chaser. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's a ghost hunter. We, uh, we, yeah. met a, we met in a cemetery on Halloween. Just, just hunting for Sasquatch. And, <laughs> she, just hunting and, and looking for ghosts. She was a ghost chaser. But we got a we got you know a exactly Air- what she looks like now. <laughs> too much eyeshadow. Yeah. Used to be skinny. Dude, we went to. <laughs> her tits got, are too small for a torso. <laughs> <laughs> They're not small tits, but her torso's wide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's got one dead tooth. Yeah. <laughs> we got an Airbnb in Newburgh, and we turned off the highway, and it just looked like a Springsteen song. Like, that's how sad it was. It's just dilapidated. It's fucking yeah. crazy. It's there's, like always old, guy, there's always a guy cleaning an auto part with a dirty rag. Yeah. Well, you no, already there's... went through the woods today, and you came back five minutes later. What happened? The trail ended. It rained ticks on Ari. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ticks started jumping into pee. Gabby and I were having an argument. Can you die? She says if a tick goes in your pee hole, you just die. How does she know? Immediately? Who told you that crazy myth? Google. Google. You Googled that. I Googled that yesterday. You were just Googling a tick in your pee hole. Mm -hmm. Well, Gabby, now you're responsible for checking all of our pee holes for ticks. (laughs) We got to do a line every morning. (laughs) Line up. guys. Apparently, you you haven't talked to her. You haven't talked to a woke girl in an improv class before. Yeah. She doesn't She doesn't say no. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and. Uh, yes, and. Yeah. Just keep going. It's a whole mixture. So you'll of, die, yeah. How'd yeah. you figure that? Google. When? Yesterday. Okay. <laughs> she goes, I have my 301 class on Tuesday. Like, oh, I just... Yeah. Thanks, Ari. If I was on mic, I would have got a laugh. Fuck you at home. And poor Mike Feeney keeps trying to give him the mic because <laughs> he's feels bad. Yeah, Ari's whittling. What are you doing? Is he really? There, are you knitting? Oh, I'm to my, uh... What I like about Ari is he doesn't get roped into unnecessary work. <laughs> That's because he's a... Um... Go on. Smart guy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Bobby, you with your cutoff shirt on, with your tattoo sticking out, you look like a mob boss escaping a murder. With a, yeah, <laughs> with a giant cigar in your mouth, too. Like you're out here and you go, Mr. Carrizo is uh, by the fire. <laughs> He's got to convince himself he likes his life. No, it's, like, it's quiet. Yeah. I, read, I read my paper. I play I the ponies. Is, I, don't, I don't miss those goddamn horns every morning. Yeah. <laughs> And the money? Who yeah. needs that? Yeah. Yeah. I got all I need. The stars. Cats. Yeah. The woman who stood by me. Yeah, yeah. The kids. He goes, now, do I miss having a cognac down at the club? <laughs> Talking to the boys. Yeah. Commiserating. Pushing some broad down on my brajo in the back of a Johnny Mathis concert. Sure. Who it was the days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do I mind getting a pizza on the cuff from Tony's uncle? Yeah. Yes. Hey, those cappuccinos outside no and everyone respected me. But now I got this life, and it's yeah. safe. It's I safe. peppermint tea, and I pat my cat. In the <laughs> Bobby's got fucking witness protection and camping. That's how he dresses. You know what's funny? I had a dream. of. You ever have a vivid dream where yeah. it's like this, this was a memory, not a dream? Yeah. My friend Stephen Giorgio, who was kind of mobbed up back in Boston, and he wound up getting killed in some fire. You know what I mean? Oh, you go AIDS, bathhouse. He was a... Uh... No, he. I think something happened. Yeah. He broke his hip and then couldn't get out of a Dunkin' Donuts. 
that caught on fire. Wait, re- he burned. That's the most New England death possible. <laughs> yeah, you just gloss. Burned right to death in the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah, they go. The Boston Red yeah. Sox would like a moment of silence <laughs> for the man who burned to death in the Dunkin' yeah. Donuts. <laughs> Why is it a fucking pulled on the inside? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know this fucking story? What's his? What was his name? Steven. Do you know the story of this of the ghost of Steven? <laughs> I was going to say his full name. Uh, I, he no. He was he was the sweetest. Get big motherfucker. Wore gazelle glasses. Six something big yeah. guy. But I had this dream where all of a sudden he was there. Was that a scream? Yeah. Sounded for sure like a blood curdling scream. <laughs> I told you. Last <laughs> like a headphones on. Was there really a scream? Josh! Josh! No, that was a one and done. The last time I was here, there was a family got kicked. He got out. him. He got a, her. A family got kicked out around one o'clock in the morning. I was by my campfire, and this, f- I all of a sudden, you fuck you, motherfucker! I'll fucking kill you! And then kids started screaming because that always happens, right? Cool. There's always a kid screaming after that, and then they were screaming. Then the guy next to me was this big Long Island guy with a Judas Priest T-shirt on. Him and his wife, and I think their Righteous. kid had, had a like was a little on the spectrum. He was just in his. Did tent. he have a tail? No, he was on. The- <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he hey, was in no, his tent. Between us, day. bro, my kid's a carnival kid. Yeah. <laughs> So no, this, <laughs> this guy's going like this. He's going, fuck, fuck that. What the fuck? And she's like, just let it relax. Let it. And you hear him screaming more. And he goes, fuck that. He goes, hey, shut the fuck up. And this ghetto girl goes, I'll fucking murder you, you cocksucker. And you hear him go, call the cops. Call the cops. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the cops came. State troopers. What? And around one o'clock in the morning, this they had to load up two of these fucking bungalows, these cabins, and get the fuck out. They kicked them out. Dude, when you're too live and, to camp, you're a badass your, motherfucker. Your immediate reaction was, "Let's come back here with eleven other people." Yeah, yeah, you got to come back with the force, dude. Yeah. I'm wearing a hatchet on the side true. of my belt. Yeah, I'd like to see anybody give me problems. Oh, body Ari, slam him on this fire. Ari, tag in for me. This seat is really knocking my nuts around. <laughs> I'm going to go grab one of those ones off the balcony or the deck over there. I'll sit in that one. You want to switch? Are they really heavy? Why would you announce that in front of everybody? Like, well, like you're worried about me. Only a I'm strong about man your could really hold that chair. It only, took us, chair. it only took us seven minutes for Christine to emasculate Jay at the campfire. <laughs> Jesus, H. Christ, you're not even on Just microphone. Switch seats with, with Sam. Want no. this seat? I'll sit there. No, no. I'm going to go carry this chair. You're not going to be able to. <laughs> you guys are going to see how easy it is. <laughs> Dude, what if what if the rest of the night's just me at a walk-in clinic here getting Jay because he slipped Urgent a disc? Center? Yeah. Jay, I'll I'm going to urgent care with Jay. Yeah, just Jay goes, dude, you can go back to the no, camping. No. I go, just it's just, just, so I don't want to go I back. You, but I'm telling you. What you I'm, uh, no, I have to show Christine now. he has now. to get the chair. I kind of want to see him get the chair. Trust me, guys. I know how this relationship works. Jay's going to lift that goddamn chair. <laughs> Christine set what Damn. we like to call the Damn. gauntlet in their relationship. Damn. It's almost going to be too easy. Uh, <laughs> this, is where, this is what scares me. It says I'm going to have to drive Jay's car to the nearest hospital. Dan. Dan, yeah. um, I want you to look at me right now. I'm going to lift all back. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I'm not putting any leg in Straighten your knees as much as yeah. possible. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is going up, I mean, out and up. Yeah. I guarantee yeah. Jerking arm, motion is preferable. I guarantee my arms and my chest will lift yeah. this entire chair. This is going to hit all of my C5. Yeah. Yeah. I'm focusing all of it right on my C5. You know what? I'm breathe. calling it right hold now. Your, hold your breath while I'm you doing, do it. I'm doing lower lumbar <laughs> yeah. the entire time. He goes, I don't give a fuck if I have to get these things fused tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting that chair over here. Would you use the fire? We'll fuse your back on the fire. Yeah. yeah. Coffee oh, in my back surgery. Dude, you, we'll do a Rambo back surgery for you. All right, see if that thing works your nuts hard. Yeah. You got heavy nuts. All right, get up here. It really, like, it splits. It's a comfortable From chair. Skeptic Tank and Punch Drunk Sports, yeah, Ari Shafir. Choose a side. Welcome to the Campfire Bonfire. You go middle. Campfire Bonfire. Triangle. You go triangle. Yeah, triangle seems the right Ari, way. I need you to acknowledge the name. Campfire Bonfire. Thank you. <laughs> Why do we God damn, it's all fire. about branding in 2019. Can't we just say bonfire? Bonf- you know what, dude? Bonfire. Just say bonfire. They don't bonfire know how squared. big it is. Bonfire. <laughs> Guys, listen. There's a lot of titles working here. I'm just trying to get the legalities. <laughs> Core strength. You thought I was falling over. <laughs> you know. Just chuck it right over here. Let's uh, see how far you can throw it. You know what? Actually, I brought some uh, plate, some weights from the, my gym. I got a 35 and a 45 plate in there. <laughs> Could you put that on a chair? Yeah, could you get my gallon of water and the refrigerator? Straight backs. Straight backs. Oh, wow, that's a holy shit. He couldn't be less heavy. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you know put what? it on your head. There's ticks on those chairs. They're awkward that's and they chair. <laughs> they're like It's all about the tick catcher. Uh, it's a tick catcher. Yeah. Jay, I just want to let you know right now that I always knew you were the strongest man in the world, and I try to tell people that, and no one listened to me. No one 
But now everyone fears your strength. And can I remind you just who was there in the beginning? Yo, somebody go fucking turn my bed down. <laughs> hey, can somebody put another a log on the fire? I do got to be honest. What? I have longer nuts than you, and this doesn't bother me at all. You do have long nuts, though. Yeah. No, Becky, I want to exceptionally long on nuts. The fire. <laughs> Bobby, you did this on a weekday, which is smart, so none of us are on the road. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to do it like that. Fucking weekends are for amateurs. Yeah, you can't. We can't do weekends. We're always on the road, but we usually, even when me and Ari have camped before, we've done this before. Weekdays. Yeah, remember we did it Weekdays. all together before. Yeah, that that was the first one. Yeah, Crazy we were supposed camping. to go. We were supposed to be out in the woods, but it rained up it in rained, Canada. But we, got a, we got a nice oh little. God, yeah, heaven. yeah. Thank me, God, it rained. Me and you guys went and drove around and got high, and then me and Ari went for a hike. Yeah. Yeah. And then we, I the cooked dinner. I, I would have went for a hike, but I had to watch the history of Chicago. The and hand. I, wait, that's what you did instead of hiking? Yeah. History. Yeah. Is, it, Can I tell you right over. now? That's why I love Jay. Because if I'm not in, the, in an absolute hiking mood, I would love to just sit around and watch a documentary in a cabin. It was a nice place. Yeah. Bobby, can I tell you something, Dan? Slept. Right, Sagalo? Yeah, dude. Dan, let I me tell you something. I it for everybody. Like, we, you know what it is? We all take took our roles. Yeah. Like, I cooked. Like, I became the wife for some oh, reason. Oh, baby. Yeah. I cooked dinner for the boys. Did you give a lot of key, no, uh, no. cheek kisses? What? No, Bobby, you were the grandma. I was the wife. I cleaned. I was right behind you cleaning. Yeah, yeah. cleaned. Yeah. Yeah, Ari's Ari the paid. big dick daddy. Okay, yeah, okay. Ari went out and hunted. Yeah. Everyone call yeah, Ari big dick daddy from now on. <laughs> Found it. Bobby, that, Bobby cooked every meal was like a full <laughs> wedding meal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a different kind of bread. Yeah. Uh, dude, I love that. Bobby goes, oh guys, oh fuck, I left a tiramisu in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some nice pairings for our bo- for our <laughs> boars, our goes, boar sausage. Now I figured by the first we dance, did have boar you're gonna. Sausage. Oh yeah, really? boar sausage. We had right. wild boar we did, sausage. We had wild boar sausage. We had a certain cheese. I think I make a charcuterie plate. We had a long time. Oh, you did. Yeah, filled you did. up every meal. <laughs> yeah, after every meal was like a painful. Like man, let's just sit. <laughs> was it just the three of you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Yamanika pussed out. Yamanika was supposed to go, off. but her, her mom. Good. Her mom you're, had the idea that Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said. She said you can't go in the woods with three white boys. So she wouldn't let her go. But we had two Well, she told off. us first that she said her mom said it was inappropriate for her to run off with three white boys in the woods. And then Yamanika had to eventually tell us it was way blacker than that. And she just, <laughs> her mom told her, it's like, don't go into the spooky woods with spooky white people who are going to do something weird. Like, she thought it was going to be more like heinous, like ritual. It is weird that we are just the wildlings of races. We just come out of the woods. Just white people are real comfortable among the really trees. Call it it's the one place we dominate. Yeah. The woods. Wood serial killing. Wood serial. Oh, man. We, uh, we yeah, blend into nature. Norwegian metal gods. Yeah, dude. You burn down churches in the middle of the forest. If it's a heavily wooded river, you're fucked if there's a bunch of white people around. <laughs> we have sailed it. We have scaled it. <laughs> you get us in a rainforest? Lost. Done. Dunsko. Great Plains? Open field? Fucked. <laughs> you put me a 14-minute walk from the closest highway? <laughs> <laughs> I'll own your ass. <laughs> <laughs> this fire keeps shifting, and sometimes we're like, it's so fun, this is the worst. You're yeah. right on the line. I know, dude. where it's hard. I walked the line. It's a great fire. Dude, you're just going, you're, fire why sure. are you sitting in backdraft? Yeah, because I love it. Remember when we lit the fire in the back of that house? Yeah. And how kind of creepy that was late at night? We, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we went out there. We heard something too, man. Because that was in really, the house. There was really no, but that, no outside. That, there was no one there. Nobody, dude. It was in the middle of nowhere. You guys got to get some fucking some heat. Sound effect. Oh, I thought you just throw the mic in and burn it. Look at. <laughs> I, I thought it was cool. It fuck cost me money, but I guess I know. Are you doing? Are you doing classic radio? Yeah, he goes. <laughs> you I, the th- get the rain stick and the so thunder hot, so sheet. Hot. Yeah, go get the thunder. Go get this. Go Why get are you this, heating? Yeah, you're heating you're the microphone up. The mic. you're literally melting I'm the feeling fire. like I should run into it. Yeah. <laughs> I, Face go in fire. Ari, do you know how fire works? Like a, yeah, Ari, th- Ari thinks he's doing a foley job for an old movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the sound of it. <laughs> Cricket. Cricket. This is my death night for yours. They go, how is that? How is that? You know what, dude? Bonfire. They go. It's mostly ambiance noise of fire. <laughs> it was fire nice, crackling. Yeah. I'll the tell bonfire you this. with Jane Dan is listening to bonfire. Yeah. <laughs> tell you this. I sleep it's like the, a son all- of a bitch when that is on. <laughs> Me and Dan just put out a two-hour audio Yule log. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, we absolutely need to release that as the first album on Comedy Central Radio. <laughs> an audio Yule log. An audio Yule log called the Bonfire. <laughs> and they go, dude. It's, they, they're putting out an official Comedy Central album, and then it's 
just a Yule log for like 99 cents? Because they're like, oh, it's a deal. Dude, we got to do that. Every Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Just- no, we should do that. We should do a Christmas special album. Audio noise. And everyone's like, what is it? And it's just ambiance noise. <laughs> One sleigh bells for three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, but it's ambiance noise by a fire up here and you just hear, ah, <laughs> screaming. Ah! Did, did everybody hear a scream? I didn't hear a scream. Yeah, I heard a scream, scream for sure. It was a scream. I've learned to drown them out. <laughs> it's New York. I hear Feeney <laughs> listening to fucking YouTube right now instead of us. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching. He's, no good he's, looking, up, he's looking up local news to see what that scream was. I haven't watched his bench. Anything in breaking in while. Anything breaking in Plex skill? Yeah. <laughs> Plex skill. Yeah, this is out of Newburg. Baby girl burned to death. You go, what the fuck? At a campfire. Oh, God. The murder capital of New York doesn't let us down once again. <laughs> <laughs> the old Newburg law of camping on a Monday night was recently lifted. Like, why was that a law? Why was that a law you couldn't do that? You think we might get evil deaded tonight? That'd what be pretty cool. cool. There was a law? No. Oh, sorry. I was lying. Oh, sorry. Man, it just got cooler, finally. Well, it's right. going to get down to 65 tonight. Bobby, really Ash, different. that no one ever said the words down to 65. Yeah. It's, oh, it's going to be 65. It's not down. That's yeah. not cold. It's not chilly. Have you slept outside of 65? It's so warm. Nope. It's fucking freezing. No. Right. no. Oh, it's not 65. Then cold. sleep Nonsense. outside tonight. I'll sleep I'm not. outside. I can't. I can't Why? do that. No. My doctor ordered me. <laughs> sleep Why? Why can't you sleep outside? I'll sleep. I'll the doctor sleep. told me I had to sleep inside. I'll sleep place. outside on that bench if you fucking get in and out of that fucking hanging hammock thing you put Ari in earlier three times. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the video up, uh, Ari, Bobby. What kind of? What is that? It's, it's called an hammock. An hammock. Yeah, it's, an it's like Nate's yeah. joke. You're like, are you saying Hammett? <laughs> are you saying Hammett? Joke. I thought it's it was a, a mock. It's a, a floating mock. capsule. A mock hammock. These a guys, mock. this company sent me Ari and Joe from the Bushcraft Party. These these mocks. The, it's a hammock that you can lie on your side or your stomach. It has a mattress in it, so you, it's not like you're a banana. You're kind of like a like you're lying in a tent, but it's up in the air. And what's out on it? What's that? What's out on it? I don't, why are you screaming at me? What's the going jury? On? The jury's out on it. The I have no idea what it? it's going to be like to sleep oh. on it. We I, shall I, I've slept on it once. I'll tell you. Ari you like looked it? like a buffoon in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Ari. Ari looks sexy. As they shit. have a br- they have a brand new one, and I told him this back in the day. They were like, "Let us send him an XL that's coming out," but he, we didn't wait. We took the regular size. I think Ari should have the XL. Probably. I'm six. What so do you I'm have? Tell, I have the regular, but I'm only five eight and a quarter. Damn. Five eight and a quarter. <laughs> Well, those are, those oh, are those that's what it is. There's oh. a longer. So I'm going to get. I'll tell them to the send you the XL. I level with yeah, okay. the lady. Yeah, I yeah, level yeah. in a cold. You give that one to your girl. Nice. Did you hear that? So they make lady tents. Well, my size. Christine, you want to hang like Jesus from two trees? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake, can I talk to you? I just I like a lot of your jokes, but I feel like that one really hurt. <laughs> what do you think? Jesus that's where the bonfire starts breaking up when I get oddly religious out of oh, nowhere. That's the worst. Guys, guys my new girlfriend Soon Jin said that. <laughs> the Lord <laughs> he goes, He's dating a really Catholic Korean girl <laughs> His jokes are really limited now Dude uh, I know we've talked about this before When I got to uh, this, You'll think everyone here is funny When I got to Caroline's on Thursday Jason Steinberg was there with his wife No way I haven't, seen, yeah. him. I haven't seen him in years He's been there He introduced me to his wife And then he goes there's a surprise for you in the uh, in the green room waiting for you. I go. It was Billy Burr's head. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's like the surprise me. Like, oh, really? I go. That's why well, you have to leave. Because I felt bad. I was gonna like open something or something he gave me, or whatever. And I turned the corner to the green room, and it was Evan Steinberg, and he's like, "What's up, buddy?" <laughs> <laughs> just started drinking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> was he dressed like a cowboy? <laughs> yeah, I maybe mean, yeah, sort of. No, uh, vice cop from the late eighties. Uh, you saw him too, Dan, right? Yeah. Evan's yeah. got the biggest piece too, by the way. Really? Is he really? I remember I was a, just a baby. I bet it's a fat thickie, huh? What are you? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there there we go. Go. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Boom. We got you. <laughs> I'm down. Soda down. Fell over hard. Did you pass out from smoke inhalation? He knew what's happening too. He knew what's happening. Soda fell over. Soda fell over. Cheers, good man. Bench guy. I've always been a bench guy. My my hatchet brought me down. What was that shit? The one that I was on? Live by the hatchet. Die by the hatchet. 
Yeah, dude. <laughs> you went from voices to slapstick comedy. You, to- <laughs> you can see the fear in his face. What? Oh. Yeah, no, I started tumbling. <laughs> Sorry, the knowledge of uh, Evan's big piece knocked me over. <laughs> Looks like my chair went whoopsie doodles. <laughs> 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 I just want you guys to What's praise my core strength for sitting there for 20 minutes unwobbled. Whoa, what is That's that? That's terrifying. No. Oh, yeah, here comes the car. Dude, lights. Go, <laughs> oh, God damn it. Mike you said your parents were gone all weekend. I didn't tell me we were having an orgy here this weekend. How fucking crazy is that? That This is the perfect scenario for a horror movie. Oh, dude, that's what I was saying on our drive up here. On our drive up here, we're listening to music. I was like, well, this is the kind of music you listen to before you get hacked to death. But there's no handsome leading man. We're all just the comic Gross. relief that gets killed. Yeah. No one cares about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all the wait- the secretary, and something like Susan. Dude, we're we all. Can't sh- we can't have any TNA shots because it's 2019. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're all first hour. We're all <laughs> first hour deaths. Because the first three biggest set of tits are dudes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna say this: this bench is wobbly too. So if I go over twice, Damn. dude, I just want to let you know I'm fucking Chevy chasing it. Jay Davis is calling you for a spot at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> right this minute. Really I think no, so. That's me. That's, <laughs> me. that's me. That's me. That's me. You can answer it. Go ahead. He's calling Bobby first about the Land Factory? Tell, tell him what we are. Hey, Dad. No, no. Hit him on speakerphone. All right. Speaker, speaker. You got to tell him. You got to tell him. It's illegal. You can't use it. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. We're on campfire. Tell him we're on, uh, tell him we're on, on speakerphone. We're on campfire. And, uh, and uh, give me another hot dog. Campfire? Yeah. I miss you, buddy. And I'm so Tell him he's on radio. You can't say it on radio, dipshit, or none of this. You can't say anything. it. Or you have to clear it legally. No, nah, I'm not going to be able to. I, I don't really like doing your shows very much, to be honest. Give me the phone. It's always been kind of a fucking buzzkill. Jay, J- J- listen. Jay. Jay. Yes. That's Ari Shavir. You're on the bonfire. Oh. We're on doing radio right now, live. How so. did he fall for that awful impression? Oh, that was not You're a good on the impression. radio right now. <laughs> That was not a good oh, okay, impression. Up, hey, it really bothers me that you fucking thought that was me, by the way. I really did think it was you. <laughs> I really thought it was you. All right, listen. I'll call you nice. when we get out of here, oh, right? Oh, fuck, Dan. Ari's coming for your impression game. <laughs> I've got the best Jay, Jay Davidson. I'm looking fire. up impressions. What do you I'll, think I'm doing right now? Later. Who can I do, man? Who can I do? Also, Jay, nice try. I've evolved. I'm a slapstick guy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> fucking Dan Tripper. Yeah. Ooh. Oops. Uh-oh. Do we have an impression off of Jay Davis as the as the blind judge? <laughs> Everyone does Bobby. Yeah. Was, Everyone does Bobby. I'm convinced all four were him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. All of them were Robert Kelly. I know you're going to say this is ridiculous right now. Every one of those, Robert Kelly. Three out of dude. If a plane crashed, is that what you yeah, said? I just had a plane. Like getting up. lost. You think that's what the scream was? Dude, if I look up and just see a fucking you think it was Delta, a, you think it was a, uh, a 737 coming in? You think it was a plane with top down? Yeah. <laughs> Some clean fucking air out here, guys. Is Paul Verzi going back to Westchester Airport? Is there Are you way- flying to Westchester ever? No. No. Never. It always comes up on the kayak search. You're like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, SMF. It's 20 minutes from my house, so it is easy. And TSA is easy. You just park. You literally park... And walk across the street and go on the f- terminal. And it's like, hey, yo, Bobby, I'm coming in. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. How expensive are the flights? It's really around 30000 30000 hey, <laughs> hey, Mike, can you look up if there's been murders in this camping site? <laughs> oh, good call. Getting yeah. all ghost stories. There has to be. Do you think people have gotten murdered here? Oh, in this in this thing. Yeah. 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 Oh, the story of Dante John Ch- John Jones. What? Oh, that's a real basketball player's Ooh. name. I was trying to make up one. <laughs> Some Dude, that'd be fucking... Becky, you really do emerge from the woods like a ghost girl. <laughs> yeah, your paleness really comes into play here. I'm here to build fire. <laughs> mother fire took my family. Mo- mother put me in the fire. <laughs> but now I teach mother. She said she'd like to watch it dance all around me. Father Fa- said I had doll eyes. <laughs> Becky, we're not hobos. Yeah. She goes, oh, this will cook that can of beans yeah. just right. We're not fucking... <laughs> She's got the we're not flash frying an alligator. <laughs> you know, you got to keep the flames down so the security from the train people can't see you. Do you remember, do you remember, the, do you remember the time? This is their land. Do you remember the time fucking Soda tried to get his own sufi with, with uh, what was it, the gator? That wasn't at all what happened. What was it? Gator, what was it? A fan, an early fan. It was actually another comic named Neil. Drew a picture of a thing, a gator. Gator fight. This is the thing that Jermaine Fowler and I used to yell out at really shitty bar shows. Easy. So me and DeRosa called him on the on the you know what 
do a podcast, Ugh. and we trashed him. You didn't call me. You called me at work, and I was still waiting tables. <laughs> yeah. And you go, dude, oh, get over here. Feeling. We got to do a podcast tonight. And I was like, yeah, of course. I'd love to come over and do a podcast. He's like, all right, dude. I'm like, I'm, I'm just closing up cafe now, and I'll change, and I'll come over. And I walked over. I was like, got to do this podcast. And I walked in, and Joe and Bobby beat the shit out of me <laughs> for probably 90 minutes verbally uh, about this fucking how I changed my profile on Twitter he's trying to get he's trying to get a Sufi I wasn't trying to get a Sufi it's Gator fight it's a, a Sufi do the Gator fight what was it it's a goddamn Gator fight <laughs> we used to do that at Eastville all the time and we'd be bombing i go woo y'all like two Gators coming out the muck <laughs> it's a damn Gator fight Dude, uh, Bobby sold T-shirts. We sold them quick. Oh we my sh- god! We should reprint those. Fucking great. People loved it. It, it really worked against us because when he did it, people were like, "That's the funniest that's thing we've ever heard." Well, the most surreal thing was, I think, like two episodes later, it was the when Patrice passed, and then like Dane Cook was in town for the funeral, and they did an episode, and he shit on me for a goddamn gator fight. Uh, he was like making fun of me. I'm like, wait. You did the Sufi though. This is what it's all. But so you it. got made fun of by Sufi? Yeah. You were trying to do your Sufi? But I wasn't trying to do a Sufi. Yeah, I just thought it was a fun thing to yell out at a bar yeah, show Sufi when you were bombing. Like people doing Sufis. What is Sufi? I guess not. <laughs> Sufi, Guys, let me look into the flames the to see what the future will be. I go the other way. What? Stop pretending like you don't know what this is. No, what is it? Was. Is that this, this, this one? Like you're so alt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, Sorry. You, were, you, were, you weren't sitting there resenting his Sufi in L.A. Uh, I was on Janine Garofalo's message board. All right, guys. <laughs> you, had, you, had a, you had a Sufi t-shirt, you piece of shit. Yeah, we said Largo. Uh, we know that you didn't know what that hey, was. Hey, Largo. Yeah. <laughs> Largo. Hey, Rafifi. I brought uh, we're talking it. I remember being called a club comic. Where they're like, he's a club comic. I'm like, you're like, what? Yeah, me too. What a stupid comic. What a <laughs> dumb thing to say. It was at the Creek in the Cave. Real comedy's happening in the local bar scene. Oh, do you guys want to go to a Mexican restaurant on a Tuesday and see real comedy? <laughs> you guys want I.e. something pony? with no quality control? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it really is a resentful. Let's go watch a girl shit out an onion. I would love to. Is that around here? <laughs> they they did that. Uh, they did what? They did that in the East Village when they the the real alternative show. No, oh, not that, an onion though. Name? The layers are going to come back. It's going to be a problem. She, she pushed an, an onion out of a pussy. No, it wasn't an onion. The yeah. talk, no way. Dude, Jay is it layers, dude. <laughs> what? That thing's going to open up inside of her. Yeah, no you way. Have to peel, no way. Peel because otherwise you get the flaking. Yeah, even yeah. if you peel it, there's that. no way it was an onion. A tomato? Yeah. No, not even a tomato. Yeah, Something more dense. No, I'm not saying she did a lot. It might have been her first and only time she did. What about an apple? I'm saying it's not coming out. Oh, he's yeah. saying it came out. I'm saying although you put an onion up your ass, you don't know that the whole onion ain't coming out. You what, if some, this, what, if a, what if it was a what if it was a Vidalia? No, the outside case stays burn. in and then pops out. The <laughs> it's gonna burn. It's huh? gonna burn. The, the, the outside stays in. Right, like you're gonna core it. Like you're gonna yeah, shoot you're gonna like a, it. You're gonna shoot like a an average sized dick's worth of onion back out of your. It'll uh, be an pussy. onion pimple getting no, popped out of the onion. What if it was a cocktail onion? Oh, was well, it? Now you're not saying it's impressive anymore. Yeah, that's, oh, that's like yeah. smaller than an anal bead. Yeah. Like pickled? Like in the. Mm. You may as well do anal beads. No, it was, yeah. Yeah. It was a small, rather small onion. Well, let's get this girl on the Skype and see if she can recreate Yeah, I think this, this girl's really playing low yeah. ball. Like this a soup like, onion? Yeah, I think it was a soup onion. Basically, what you're talking about right now is like when basketball didn't have black beads. Yeah, now it's like she's <laughs> passing kidney stones. It's just like a lot of dribbling and passing. And, <laughs> and that you woman was. Shapiro? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. Remember, remember back in the day when he used to do the, like the pink pony and I was I, all I remember about Rick Were Shapiro was uh, I, I did a lot of shows with Rick Shapiro and I remember that the top of his bush was always out of the top of his jeans. <laughs> I did oh, what too. a sexy move! Always had his yeah. beaver at the top he had of his pants. Those little low cut fucking why. Because that was, I think, because he bought jeans that were uh, vintage. And he's right. staying and in they, them. that's the way they were back then. And back then, you had your little they bush hanging your out. Bush? I think he had an exceptionally large bush. Mm. I, I thought he was a bushy. I think he was normal gonna, jeans. No, I'm going to no, call it. There was normal jeans. No, normal jeans worn low. Then also, very full muff. Generous. I would call it a generous beaver. Generous muff. Yeah. That's a sexy thing, though. That's like an old Burt Reynolds Playgirl thing. Like combable hair? Yeah. Yeah. Having right ladies, muff, 70s muff on dudes. Gabby's like, giving a thumbs up. I like when you jizz inside of a girl and the gush of hair and cum comes out. What the fuck are <laughs> oh, you yeah, talking about? What show are we on right now? <laughs> Literally, what are you talking about? What the fuck are you doing? Just Is this just, FM? Are you talking about a cream pie with yeah, hair? Yeah, cream pie, out? yeah, with tons of hair off uh, a bush. <laughs> if you don't trim that bush, you're getting a, bu- a bunch of stuff in there. Oh, man. Bobby, that, that's like you? a cat. We should call that a cat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the cat threw up its breakfast. It looks like Don Rickles' hair. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have a hairy body, Bobby? No, I don't. I, I have hair. I have weird hair. I don't have hair from my ankles down. 
Because of my socks. I think my socks killed the hair. Oh, yeah. I've definitely burned off my fucking... Yeah. <laughs> I've definitely burned off some hairs from socks or something. Yeah, for sure. And then I don't have... I have hair a little bit around my nips. And I have hair on my belly, I guess, but I don't, I'm not hairy. How much hair on your belly? Just like a little couple kisses of hair? I mean, it's I mean, it's get worse that I got older. But when I was younger, I had no hair. You were so when you were Jack, you were a child. When you were Jack. Oh, you were that, hairless. That bo- sexy Bobby, no hair, no hair. No and you hair, didn't even dude. have to take care of him. No hair on my bum. No hair on anything. Joe DeRosa has a torso muff. Joe DeRosa is fucking something else. Joe Joe looks like he got rolled in hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like someone they put it in a spear gum. He yeah. <laughs> was a spear gum, and someone rolled him through a fucking uh-huh. go, eyebrow threading floor. They go, Miss DeRosa, your son is at puberty. We need to cover him in this gummy-like substance and roll him around in the hair. Yeah, he's and his his, his he's wearing tits. studio hair all over his body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, growing up hairless, that's got to be badass because you look all jacked. Yeah, it was I, I getting hair later in life is a weird thing. I got hair in my ears I'm the that. last ten years. So in this year, my wife got me la- uh, laser surgery. Have they returned surgery? Or Not just surgery. Laser. Sorry, okay. laser on my ears, and it's fucking worked. They're gone. No, gone. I want to get that. Morgan yeah. Murphy said she got them. I on her ears. My, gone. My overarm and ears. Yeah. The, yeah. Gone. I wouldn't mind it getting Will on my shoulder blades. Nose? Yeah, yeah, get shoulder wings. blades. The fucking runaway hair. Probably. Yeah, they'll do your nose. No but way. let me tell you something. Yeah. The, the first time you go, the first two times you go, yeah. the laser. Feels if it's great. gray hair, it doesn't work. If it's black hair, it works way better. But it when it hits that black hair, it fucking you get zapped. It Why hurts? does gray hair not work? I don't know. Well, let me think. She's oh, wiser. Gray hairs. He knows how to dodge the laser. They're older and wiser. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they can see that laser coming and hide. Respect yeah. for their elders. <laughs> Blend into. But the I had skin. hair in my ear because Don fought around ten years ago plucked one hair out of my ear, and then and then it just went ballistic, and it was bad. Like I could like a windy day, <laughs> I felt it. Wow. That's what happened to my shoulder. I just have like a little light dusting right now, but it popped up out of nowhere out of Dude, one. Get it, I got one. Get it taken off. Yeah. She and this girl's great. Uh, bear to be dead. And, Dare to be bear is what it's called. Dare to be bear. Can in we do Hearts neck Day. down? Will she do a whole neck down service? She'll do everything. Can She'll I, do it all. Did you guys just hear that? Walking through the woods? Yep. Is that why you're looking backwards? Oh, shh, shh. Chris. Gabby, you want me to hear that? Hey, white girl, go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should do is you should get a uh, flashlight something. and say a couple times, stop playing around. Not even kidding. That's what? something. What? Yeah, it's Feeny, probably. Do we? Do oh, we? let's break. Yeah, let's break. We get eaten by a bear. That's let's great. Let's take a break. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Or we won't be. It's the, the Lost Tapes. We hope. It's Bonfire to Campfire. It's the dude himself, Robert Kelly. Hi. And Ari Shafir. Uh, yeah, the sun is away, so the guns are gone. Yeah, <laughs> guns are all... Ari Shafir, riddled with ticks. <laughs> We've got a couple, a couple already on me. How many have you pulled out? I pulled one off me, and then one out of the sleeping bag. Well, that's horrible news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's everything I was like, why the- are we going camping? That's the reason. Sagala is working on a joint over there. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm a cop, and I'm 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 wearing a wire. It's called a microphone. That's a good point. It's the all obvious wire. Yeah, <laughs> it's the most obvious wire. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it other than Sagalo has guy who rolls a joint in floppy work boots face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I finally see you in your natural habitat, <laughs> and I understand everything. That's yeah, this is the poster you were made to be on. Yeah, you know, it's like when, when you see an animal on a nature documentary, and like, how's that thing not dead? And then you see it like get in the water or something. You're like, oh, it, it moves so <laughs> fluidly and beautifully. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he runs on his feet. All Brendan's missing is a, a sweatshirt that says no fat chicks. Yeah. He definitely needs or a, a hoodie with the zigzag guy on the, the front. Forest. <laughs> yeah. Zigzag guy. He's got the zigzag guy. Fuck it. The lean back. Gabby uh, Gabby looks like the wife of a lead singer of a famous band, and they're just gotten off tour, and she's like, we just go to nature and we get away. <laughs> Gotta get free. She's writing a lot of songs inspired by her uh, hum, her hymns. I have her a lot hymn. of thoughts about my Burning Man outfit this year. Guys. What is it? You guys well, want to stare at the I'm fire for a while? Are you doing an impression? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't it's know. very hard not to just I'm serious, throw it Bob. into the fire. It really I'm serious, is. serious, Bob. Well, except for the fact we're doing Bobby, a in the, radio show. Bobby, in these moments, do you miss, do you miss being able to get high? Um, or drink? That's a fucking great question. Now, the high thing... 
uh, I, I have to admit that I would Drinking, no, because I was a terrible, violent drunk. But high, I was So great. was Christine. Didn't stop her. <laughs> Didn't stop her from getting fired from a couple yeah. jobs. Any- she was like, it's time for some violence. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have any fun, pleasant drunks? No. You never wow. once had one where you're like... No, any time I got once. drunk, I got into a fight, I got beat up. It's usually what we did. Yeah, but then oh. wasn't your age even, like, ridiculous young? You were, like, 13, that? right? I started like drinking 11, heavy. Probably. I started drinking at 10. I started drinking heavy at 13, 14, 15. Dude, you're like... Wow, a- what? I was drinking... I could drink by the time Sucking I was... Sucking cock by 16. No, no, that was first grade. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I mean, willing. <laughs> Sucked a dick for a steak. I, uh, I mean, when they were answering your ads. Not <laughs> <laughs> ads? <laughs> uh, 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 no, I, I could drink a, a pint of white label scotch. I could half sip the bottle. Oh. Like I could one sip half the bottle, I mean, oh, so wow. I could just take half the bottle and then I would slow sip the rest of it, and I would drink like a rack of talls. That was my that was my night. Would at what point would you get sent into berserker mode? That I mean, pretty much every night I got I drank to get fucked up. Really, every night? Every night I drank to get fucked up. I never drank. I was thirteen, fourteen, Jesus. fifteen. We used to. We used to drink like um, uh, Southern Comfort. Yeah, that's what my mom drank. And I would. I drink- used to know how to make what? a Southern Comfort Manhattan when I was like ten years old. Yeah, we. Because if I had a drink for my mom when she came home from work, yeah. it was like she wouldn't hit him. No, but it would be easier. <laughs> the night would definitely be easier. She wouldn't have sex with his friends and make him watch. It's true. But that's Pot what I was wanted. the greatest though. I remember getting so fucking high. I remember uh, we smoked two Cheech and Chong bones because back then it was just weed. Are you going to so tell a story so, now about you putting like corn chips in a fucking cheesecake or something? No, <laughs> no. What? Because we got so fucked up one time, man. No, we. Have we, you ever had <laughs> bacon pancakes? <laughs> we actually robbed a mafia-owned pizza store. That's pretty reckless. <laughs> Gunpoint. No, we. I we found out it was a mafia-owned place a week week later when the the cops arrested my friend. They didn't get me, and the cop pulled me over. He goes. He goes, there's a warrant for you. It got lost. I'm going to get it right now. And I'm doing you a favor because the the people who own that uh, Italian restaurant, they're looking for you, too. They're going to break your legs. Wow. And, um, and you're th- 13 at this age? I was, yeah, I was 13, yeah. When someone tells you that, when a cop well, you didn't take any shit. And huh? I, you were no, already, I took shit. You were already 5'8", I heard. Yeah, dude, I, I got beat up a lot. But when someone tells you that, when yeah. you're 13 years old, they're like, hey, the mob's looking for you for 13. Yeah. So now you got to fight puberty and the mob. Yeah. Did you, were you like, fuck this? I went and got fucking Hey, fucked. you. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, Don Vito. I was scared when I got out. Because I got arrested that night, and I went, I, he came back and got me. And I went to jail for a while. I went to juvie jail for a while. But when I got back out was when I was scared, because I didn't know I didn't know what happened. Yeah. So, But a, a years later, I found out that a friend of mine's father, who's a boxing promoter, squashed it. Really? While we were, yeah, he squashed it for us. What did he do? Just say you're a dumb kid? He just had to talk with him, told him what it was, and said, look, they, they, they're friends of my sons. They fucked up. They didn't know, blah, 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 and they squashed it. Dude, damn, you're like a fucking Mark Wahlberg movie. Fucking closer, Jesus, I, I, This is how fucking scared it was. I went oh back God. there. From my 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 uncle, every year would have a birthday party for my grandfather, and he'd always have it at a different restaurant. One year, he had it at the fucking restaurant, and the restaurant knew who you were and knew Dude, what you did. Listen, I, it was it was years later when I got sober, so I was I was I think I might have been doing comedy at the time, what? and I went back to the restaurant. I was fucking shitting my pants the whole time, yeah. wow. just waiting for somebody to go. Hey, can I talk to you from the kitchen for a second? Hey, Mister Fabrizio. <laughs> <laughs> To speak to you in the walk-in cooler. But upstairs was a pizza place. But I never, I didn't understand. I was thirteen. Downstairs was a restaurant it's that nobody thing. really went to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Tax right off. Like you would go down there, but there would always be like a couple guys. It's like for them. It was for them. Yeah, it's a restaurant. Upstairs was the pizza place. Oh, Great pizza, by the way. How did really? you? How, well, you gotta say that, you pussy. <laughs> He's obligated for forever. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you gonna say, you puss? How did you rob it, though? Well, there's this the girl 
who was uh, there was uh, a girl running it. Oh, she was so she was this girl in my social studies class. <laughs> she had a big fucking nose. Italian girl with a big nose. That's kind of my thing. <laughs> I just love a fucking huge schnoz. Do you want to suck on you it? in the fucking bush while oh, they blow you? Just would you per- lick a nose? Just a perfect body <laughs> with a big nose. Are you a nose sucker, dude? It's like a big nose. Like a Japanese businessman. Yeah, I uh, want to lick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you two hundred dollars <laughs> to lick. Your nose. How much would this cost? Five thousand dollars. Uh, <laughs> kiss your nose. Eskimo kisser. So, uh, I know so a girl, we, Japanese businessman, paid her a thousand dollars to kiss her belly button. But we, we went in there. I was talking. Yeah, to her. that's I, so. Awesome. I was trying to pick up this girl for years. Yeah, and she always blew me off. It's Sorry, cool. Bobby. Only way you'll take me out is if you rob the place. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm sitting there talking to her. My friend Frankie, who was older than me, or a lot tougher than me, he was fucked up he went to the kitchen and he told the two kids he he actually beat the kid up the chef he beat him up like a week ago so he went and he goes look we're taking the money you tell him it was two black kids or I'm gonna fucking kill you so they were like whatever he went out tried to get the money out of the register couldn't do it because he was so fucked up I was holding her hands like listen it's okay you're gonna be alright don't worry about it so and, what you were romanticizing oh, her while your friend was terrorizing her right, yeah so then I I went up <laughs> yeah. and, I went up and took the money because I know how to open the register but I was trashed. So I, went up, took, I took the money. I was, I was fucked. I think we drank like a, a case each of Jesus. old Milwaukee. Yeah. So we, we were running Milwaukee. away, and I tripped on the curb, and I brought my pinky finger over to my index finger. And the money went flying everywhere. And Frankie grabbed all the money, and he brought me to his house. He's like, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Oh. So he was like, come here for a second. I'm going to take care of it. And I'm like, No. So I, I ran away and I went outside to a payphone. I called an ambulance. I called nine one ones. They hung oh. up on me. So then I saw you these like old white dead presidents. <laughs> 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 was it the leather gloves on the refrigerator that news? I, that movie. You guys your faces I, fuck, I get it. That was a good uh-huh. one. Did you hide in a dumpster and then pop up shooting two guns? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I wound up. There was these two old ladies on the street, and I just went in front of them and dropped to the ground and started screaming and held my hand up because it looked fucked up. Oh, it looked all so, grizzled and gnarly. So they called the ambulance and they took me to the the, the hospital, but. You know what's fucked up is that you're a terrible criminal. Yeah. <laughs> Great story. You didn't get much accomplished. Like I'm glad you retired. Yeah. So I go. So they arrest me. I go to court. This girl, the DA. This is fucked up. God heard a lie. God, who did I? The girl. Danica so she's on, She's on the stand. Is that a saying, tick? Yeah. No, no it's not say. a tick. It's a from Gigantic. the bonfire. It's a fucking bug, I think, you just shot. <laughs> yeah. Touch me with your fucking fingers. Never give me that microphone, ever. It's ash, dude. Shut so she, up. The DA <laughs> got this girl to lie. She was on the stand saying that he, he held me back. He was holding me, telling me that he would kill me or threaten me. Miss Santino, is it or is it not true that you were in love with Robert Kelly that day? <laughs> so she set, she, she set me to fucking jail, right? His hairless, jacked body. Did he kiss his I clavicle, peek it out of that V-neck <laughs> shirt? Him telling you it'd be okay? You knew it'd be okay because you could feel it. I recall you, yeah. I recall Robert Kelly holding your hands and telling you <laughs> things were going to be all right. <laughs> so she, so I got sober. I was around 18. I'm at a f- disco yeah. in Boston. Discotech. She shows up. Looking good? She's fucking Everyone's in a circle nose. around. You're owning the dance floor. <laughs> you got it. You're doing the hustle. And I mean the actual hustle. You so know, step I, by step. I walk up to her. She's fucking nervous. Yeah. And I and I said, why did you lie on the stand that time? This is years. Oh. You know, she, she goes. I told you were going to be okay. She what? goes, they told me I had to. Who? The DA. They said she had to lie. She said you have to. You, you have, have to, to say this. Yeah. This is all part of my documentary, The Case Against Oh, Robert she was going to get in trouble because they thought she might have been part of it, too. She goes, you tell Making us. Making a murderer part two. two. <laughs> you said, you say that he well, did Well, Bobby, did you rob the store? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I maybe. Oh, did she? I don't uh-uh. think so. Are you hungry? I don't know. I wanted to. I don't know. <laughs> so what did she say when you confronted her at the discotheque? She, uh. Uh, she said, I'm so sorry, but I... Bobby, you don't understand. My life is in a bad place. So she's she from Long Island. She's from Boston. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Bobby, you know how hot it is on these streets. They fucking came in my backyard. Oh, my God. My mom was dating Ray Bork, but then they broke up. <laughs> 
and now we're in squander. <laughs> squander. We're living in squander, Bobby. Squalor. Squalor. <laughs> you dumb fucking Boston bitch. See? I was in character. The stupid Boston And bitch. scene. Hi. Pasty I'm Dan Soder pattern. from Billions. <laughs> fucking pickle. Character work pickle can be a slippery slope. <laughs> Don't... So take a picture of me next to the fire without my hat. <laughs> flan- Christine, you have betrayed me. Dan, Dan I should have brought my cowboy hat. Dan Soder yeah, by fl- Dan Soder by Flamelight is nice. Oh yeah, dude. We're gonna do a Dan Soder by Fire calendar. We're all work. We're missing out on s'mores. Yeah. yeah. All I know. Are up. you guys making s'mores? Becky fucking whittled sticks. Yeah, they just rolled yeah. fucking joints, smoked them, and now they're making s'mores. Becky, oh look at that. Hey, ladies. Come in. Sag, you want to come in? Hey, ladies. Uh, something tells me. Something tells me Ari wants to make a s'more. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Brendan Sagalo joining the show. I'm getting. The, you, I'm getting Ari, a s'more from Feeny to come in. What? And Feeny. Yeah. Man, the first one's the one oh. that hurts. The first bite of a s'more. <laughs> welcome Mike, to, welcome Mike to the Feeny. show. I am. Uh, I'm heading out. I'm going to enjoy the s'more. Mike Feeney from the Irish Goodbye Podcast back on the mic, and hey, Brendan Sagalo. He rushed and took a bite of the s'more before Bobby took it, and then just got liquid hot marshmallows stuck it to the top was, of the roof of his mouth for I sure. To be honest, I did not bargain that well. That he's, was. Um, that's I the, promise you, he's going to feel everything that just happened way through tomorrow. Dude, Dude using to wake him up. Using no. s- making s'mores without like actual poles is so gross. You always get like that stick residue oh. yeah. <laughs> inside there, your mouth. There might be ticks. On this oh yeah, you're, everybody's oh, eating ticks. Tick. <laughs> oh dude, or some some guy some diabetic pissed on that. <laughs> 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 no, on yeah, honestly, a tick would be best case scenario. <laughs> is it weird yeah. that it like smells like sweet piss? piss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, is it weird the stick smells like sweet piss? <laughs> I don't know. Like someone been drinking this espresso. Guy a lot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a ballsy move making a s'more actual old school style. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, Becky carved the sticks. Becky, did yeah. you? Carve them? Like she was she fucking Bartles and James. Yeah. Bartles yeah. and James. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced Becky's like Nell. She was just raised in the woods. She's feral. She's home right now. Yeah. <laughs> what if you see tomorrow? You see the, the video of that lady like, who just who runs like a dog? She just runs. Oh, like, she runs on all fours. Yeah. She jumps over and, and, the jumps, through, table? and jumps through a cage. Yeah. It's crazy. Ta-da. I thought you had to be missing a piece of like your vertebrae. Today. <laughs> We're gonna see her like sitting, like sleeping, like brawl balled up. Yeah, Becky. (laughs) (laughs) Ari shirt says, "I like to cram my big cock into your cunt hole." Yeah, dude. I mean, that's the shirt. What a shirt! When you first came by, at least give credit to the person who said it. Dash Eisenhower. Yeah, (laughs) dude. I thought you were wearing like I thought you were wearing like sarcasm's my only language T-shirt. I like lost so much respect for you when you showed. I was like, oh Jesus Christ, way more bad. (laughs) I was like, turns out you're his biggest hero. Yeah, Yeah, I thought it was a a beer o'clock somewhere shirt. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) think because you're drunk. I am. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. the voices in my head say. Hi, or something yeah, like that. Big go, oh, Johnson's Ari. fishing equipment. Because <laughs> I, I used to wear all those t-shirts. And then you slowly read it. And, and cargo like, shorts. Oh, dude. I that was my fucking t-shirts. look, dude. There used to be a website called t-shirthell.com. Yeah, t-shirthell.com. They still send me fucking emails. I had a, uh, I had a, I bought a great shirt off there that said, Jesus did it for the chicks. And it's Jesus on the cross winking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I went to a grocery store in Tucson, and this guy was like, don't wear that shirt. And it was just, it scared me enough that I was like, that's an insane side shirt now. T-shirt hell used to bum me out because I used to go on it all the time. Love the shirts, but even if it was my size when it showed up, it wasn't my size very quick after. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and then it just made me upset. And that's when I developed my long-term plan to make awesome shirts for fat guys. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you about Jay's dream. It's my it's, end game. It really is. It's the way it's I've made. never been listening more to anything. I want to make a Led Zeppelin with the angel leaning back like that. <laughs> With the wings, three quarter length softball tee for fat guys. Doesn't Dude, exist. I'm not so. gonna lie when I say this. If someone has been listening and properly invested in Jay's idea of cool t shirts for fat guys, yeah. Be a millionaire. What's the uh, Bobby Kelly off mic saying Brian Scalaro has the best fat guy t shirt? calls it the black t-shirt. Oh, the black t-shirt dye. Yeah, you go check out at Brian Scalaro on He's Instagram. a funny man. Yeah. Duck. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. And are you, look how much marshmallow you're eating off just that stick. 
<laughs> are you going to suck that off? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are you not taking it off in one bite? I did, but I, someone's left. No, what there's a side chew mark, it? man. You had a second bite. Jeez. You should smear that on two pieces of bread and make no. a fluff and nutter. Oh, you're not going to get a tick, dude. Clean it off, you fucking slut. <laughs> Clean it off with your mouth. Just your mouth. But, but look at Jay while you do it. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, Put it in your mouth, fucking animal. Oh, that's so you love, gross. You love being dirty. You love being... You're so fucking filthy. You love it. That's right. They can't get you if you harass men. <laughs> Ooh. Ari really totally. does. Ari looks like he can travel in a canoe pretty easily. <laughs> he's, thought about, like, he's, he's thought about fucking three 17-year-old girls in his tenure here. Yeah. But he's never <laughs> followed through. Man, you really can lose the momentum of this show just staring in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought about past lives for I just a second. <laughs> staring into the fire and I thinking really about was, Ari's calves. I I was, camp. Did you go to camp when you were younger? Probably? Yeah, Camp Tioga, summer camp. Go away for it. Oh, yeah, dude. Me how too, long? man. I went, to, I went away twice. I went away like three right. times. I'm trying how to send my daughter to sleep away camp this year. I, I think she'll have a good... I, it's I think like it's seven like, weeks. I know it sucks to go if you're not into it. <laughs> I never went. I would have never went away. Seven Wait, weeks? That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's dude. so long. I went for two weeks. Seven no, weeks. man. I went like half <laughs> the summer. I went half the summer. You know how many times your parents fucked in your bedroom Fuck. and said, I swear to God, we're not going to do it again after this? <laughs> that summer. I bet his dad... And then they clean the whole thing up, and then they fuck in there again. And then they go, why are we keep dying? I called my parents. On t-shirts. I got. I got. <laughs> I got homesick, and I called my parents, and they were like, "What can we do to make you sick?" Because it's like seven thousand dollars to send your Jesus. kid there. And I was like, I told them to buy me Ludacris's Word of Mouth album <laughs> with yeah. the parental advisory. Yeah, dude, you came cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was about what month? Still... Fifteen ninety nine. That was <laughs> what the album. That was. No, that was twenty bucks. It, it was cost like him when... twenty bucks to fuck anywhere in the house for <laughs> six <laughs> more weeks. Your dad got his dick sucked on your back. They bought you. two out. They bought two copies of it. Yeah. Fucking listen to Move, bitch. Or they just they just uh, took their copy that they bought and gave it to you. <laughs> like, Why is this out? open and sticky? Yeah, you don't think we know about Atlanta hip hop? <laughs> yeah. Jermaine Dupree. Are you their only kid? No, I have an older sister. So she was home the whole time. Yeah, she was doing something. They couldn't. She, fuck she like never that went to camp. camp. She didn't go to a seven week camp. No, she didn't seven go to camp. week camp. Did you ever? Did you go to summer camp? I went to no. I went to like day camps. Me too. That's where I did yeah. day camps. Yeah, day camps are fine. I mean, I had. I went to like. I was in daycare at the athletic center. You know what we work. call day camps? What gay camps? You're probably right. Okay, you know so. What? They suck my dick. No, but you're right. Can I say? I <laughs> Dude, I had no interest in doing it as a kid at all. No interest None. in doing it as a kid. But as an adult, same thing with I didn't go to college either. And I said, I do feel like there would have been something cool about doing like either of those things. Yeah, dude, life. you do go you know away. I mean? There's like, like oh, chicks they, in different yeah, cabins say, and like, stuff. Chicks sneaking off to fuck around. But I also think yeah. I would have never like. No, it got old oh, after I, a while. I think I would have no, never got chicks. Either. No, I, feel, I never I got I chicks. I went with I had, um, and in a week I would have known I'm not nothing's happening. And I would have probably been at there was camp time. You're only looking to like make out anyway. Right? There was a bunk fourteen, which was the girls' bunk, and they were all our age. And uh, we also had this thing where we watched movies. And we sat on basically a bleachers thing, and I heard they didn't know I was behind them, and they heard I heard them talking about all the boys in my bunk, yeah. and they were like, "Who'd you hook up with?" And they're like, "This guy or this guy, this guy or this guy," and all of them were like, "I would like the I like this guy," and then they went Brendan or blah blah blah, and they're all like, "The other guy for sure." Oh, you overheard? Oh, it? Yeah, and I heard overheard it, and I didn't. You have to do this thing where you go. It's like. I don't care. This is me. Anyways, uh, you guys go have fun. I, don't, yeah. I was going to go. I, was like, I'm I have a so girlfriend. Anyway, I woke up early, so I can't fuck these chicks. Anyway. I'll see you this. I, I got, got so much ass at home. It's like, I was actually going to take how, the summer off anyway. How old were you? How old I wouldn't want to break uh, their hearts. I know? was like 12, I think. Yeah, I was 11 or 12. Well, I was 11. The mm. first year I went away to camp. It was only two weeks. There was the hottest girl in the world named Morgan. And she, uh, there was like a dance at the end of camp. Oh, and I remember man. going up to her at the dance and being like, Hey, do you want to dance? She goes, oh, I'm real tired. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Wow! Oh, that's awful. Wife excuse? Or oh, like, <laughs> well, she was like, Not tonight. I have a headache. Oh, man. That was, told, I've told the story before on this show of why I will never not have a beard unless I lose some sort of a bet or something. Yeah. When I was a, a little kid and went to the carnival with my dad. My dad took me to a carnival in my neighborhood with my stepbrothers yeah. who were older than me and I wanted to think I was cool so bad. And we were waiting to get on a ride. The Tempest. Yeah. 
I remember it, which was a ride that I was... I was afraid of rides, but I was trying to look cool for my stepbrothers. Yeah. So while we're waiting in line to go on this thing, I see these girls like kind of near me, like l- keep looking up at me and like smiling and like like kind of giggling to each other. Oh, dude! And cue, was, uh, cue corny eighties music. I think. Yeah. 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 Ba, ba, and they walk over and they're kind of like, talking to each other, and the girls like, "No, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Like, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say something." And she <laughs> walks over to me and she goes, uh, "She goes, hey," and I. I mean, so confident. I was like, what's up? <laughs> are, you, are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, shut <laughs> up, fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my and God. then got on the ride and cried and screamed like a fucking child because I, I was <laughs> afraid brutal. of the ride, too. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out the ride was never so. <laughs> I, oh, I guess I you told you, girl. L's. You took two L's <laughs> on a double <laughs> header. Yeah. Are you a boy or a girl? And she goes, <laughs> I still cry, crying, but not about that. <laughs> <laughs> but then down the ride, the girls are in line and they go, you know what? from the noises I still can't tell <laughs> that story's so sad Christine's rubbing me yeah. uh, dude that's fucking hilarious are you dude, a boy, or, boy or, girl? or girl is humiliating uh, when crushing. you got when you got good at being able to be rejected what what was what did it's you never say had, I don't know that's, that's not a thing. <laughs> you were never good at it Christine will tell you I got that. good no, at no, it no no I, 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 I got learned, fucking good at it I learned how to laugh it off yeah and be like what yeah the last the last <laughs> time it was the last I go into a dark shell <laughs> I'm like I don't even know why I thought that was was possible anyway. Yeah. So fucking stupid. Dude, I was laying in the grass with this girl on my birthday and oh. she was hanging out with me and this I went thing? I went in for a kiss yeah. and she pulled back and she went, "What are you doing?" Oh. And I went, "I don't know." Yeah. <laughs> and then it was oh. silent and I dropped her off. I oh. dropped her at home. That, that was oh. brutal. That was the last time I ever let myself get rejected. Yeah, I'd won. I'd won. It was the first one ever where I I went and got a condom because I thought she wanted the food doing everything else. And I, I told so her she before. Yeah, you know, I grabbed the condom and I was like, I actually did the words, I guess I'll be needing one of these. And she said, no. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And I thought she meant raw. And I pulled my fucking putt out. <laughs> she goes, no, no I don't want to have sex. And I was like, I, I don't know. Everything at once. Oh, dude. dude I was so, I was so, <laughs> oh, and I was like, God. never again, dude. I, I didn't know how to know, take the proper I, I've had girls have to go like, hey, dude. Are we going to fuck? It's like tomorrow. Oh, man. <laughs> like, oh, I, oh, yeah. You wanted to? Okay. I took all the wrong shots in middle school and high school. I'd be yeah. Like, I was so bad at it. Out with a girl and you do that. You go yeah. for the kiss and they go. Yeah, yeah. There was a girl when I was a sophomore. So fucking, I, she was a sophomore. Brutal. I was a senior. And we'd like hang out about it and smoke weed and I tried to kiss her and she's like, you're my friend. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. And you... It was, go, I'm, older, brutal, I'm older than you. You're lucky that a senior wants to kiss a sophomore. Uh, I didn't think. I didn't think. <laughs> I think I didn't do very good in high that. school. I think I didn't do very good in high school because I just fucking I sprayed a fucking like like a hailstorm. Like I fucking just spray, I, I wrote a note of to every girl who was all friends. Do you know what I mean? Wait, like you flooded try. him. You you spammed him. <laughs> one would say one would be like not interested, and then you move on to the next one. So so it's like dude, I did get. That's I what did, you got to do, dude. To that kind of rejection. That's a numbers I mean, game. Yeah. But I've never ever, I've never in my life gone in for a kiss that wasn't like received back because I'm like it's got to be so obvious. So you did such due diligence. I you See, did. I've, yeah, I've done that too. I and think it, most and it of the time you. I say. I, I say, can, can I kiss you? Yeah. I yeah, I sometimes I Well, that's what you got to do now. I, I, but I think I've done that forever just because I'm like... <laughs> Instead of just <laughs> grabbing it. Yeah, I'd dude. rather them have that moment <laughs> than to go like, oh, I have a boyfriend. No, I don't. And I go, okay, which I'd be, I'd still be embarrassed as shit, but dude, more I was, than going in for it, fuck that. I was, uh, I had this like girl that I was hooking up with in high school. I think I was only in ninth grade or something and I was at her house and we were watching a movie and her mom literally would come in and then talk to us for five minutes and then leave and then three minutes would go by yeah. then. Her dad right, would come you guys, in. You kids can get back yeah. to your finger in. Every two seconds, right? <laughs> so at one point, like, I made a move, and I think I just, I was, like, feeling her boob, and then that was it, and I was like, this is a great, what a great night already, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's like, I'm already, this is the tops, you know? And then uh, her parents came back in, like, three or four this more times. This Yeah, this was in 1928. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now. I touched the breast for, for a whole minute. And it was the cat's pajamas. <laughs> and the and knees, knees. Oh, geez. I'll tell you this. Yeah. I was harder than our defense on those Normandy beaches. <laughs> it felt like a colored body. Yeah. We were listening to jazz and 
smoking marijuana. <laughs> so you grabbed her titty, and then her mom came in and was like, now grab mine. Yeah, yeah, I've I seen mean, this on Brazzers. That's how I've reimagined it. Uh, <laughs> Brazzers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I subscribe. <laughs> I subscribe. Let me guess. The you daughter was giving you a blowjob. <laughs> the mom interrupted, said, this is how you do it. They shared your cock, and you spooged, and then you were worried that Vecchione was coming home. <laughs> what? No? <laughs> well, that's on the nose. It just turns into a fucking and then well, that's just you slam your laptop shut and you run in the bathroom and yell, I'm, I'm in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened when she came back in? She, uh, we, we ended up, I ended up, you know, we just ended up watching the rest of the movie, essentially. Do you remember like what movie? That. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Um, Space Invaders. I did, I it, it was on the, Shazam. It was not a good movie. I remember Gold Shazam. Shazam. It was just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gold die. No. Uh, so she the next the next day she was like swordfish. Did I beat it to that? The, uh, uh, did, did you? <laughs> Easy. Shut your mouth. Uh, <laughs> her weird fuck. Her tits look like someone's wearing fake plastic. They were so weird. Shut up. I, I beat it to Melissa. Vampire. Dude, who did it? Goddamn right. Embrace the vampire. Melissa dude. Milano. That's Embrace. Alyssa's sister. Her cousin. My first time ever, last time, in my grandmother's basement. Embrace the vampire. Embrace the vampire. Ba -ba 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 Banana with, basement. With You're listening. No DVR. <laughs> this is back in the day. Oh, yeah. This is videotape. a decision quick. Video oh, what? Tape. You did it just right then and there? Um, let me tell you something. I knew something was about to go down. I knew something was going to happen with You start Indian chubbing? You start fluffing? From the Golden, Golden Child. Golden Child, Charlotte Lewis. So I've, now the girl in Golden Child always wanted to see her naked. <laughs> All of a sudden, I've always wanted to see Melissa Milano naked. It's Alyssa. <laughs> Stop saying it over and over. <laughs> Is that your silent protest? Because she's, uh, she's saying she wants <laughs> yeah. sex with anybody I, I, until I so. abortions go <laughs> uh, everywhere. Alyssa. Yeah, you're Alyssa? like being like a bitchy yeah. mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Does Melissa eat cupcakes? Hey Mom, it's Alyssa. I'm Stop it. I love her. <laughs> I like Alyssa Milano's going to punish her husband for, to not have sex with her yeah. because uh, and he's probably way on her side. I mean, of course. Yeah, he's like, like I don't care. Me? I don't understand. Do you mean yeah. Mr. Uh, Milano? <laughs> how great was that movie, though? That was a that was one of the, the greatest. Of it. I'll tell you two what. Of this, two girls that you wanted to see. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I definitely out. smacked to uh, Alyssa Milano, Melissa. <laughs> in, uh, in fear when he throws her over the shoulder, see her butt? butt cheek and nice. it. How dare you? So good. How dare well, you, you know judge what? me I for? Remember that huge scene. Wow. <laughs> Real quick shout out Denise uh, Denise Richards and Nev Campbell and Wild Things yeah. mm -hmm. uh, stayed beating to that pretty much Can consistently do, through eighth grade. Did we say this on the uh, air? Did nothing. I had a conversation with, uh, with Sal and, and <laughs> <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> I had a conversation with Sal, Sal and uh, Shane Gillis the other day. Shane's 31, Sal's my age. And we were talking, it's hard to make a kid understand now what a fucking big deal it was when Pamela Anderson's sex tape came out. Oh, like that was, that was insane! Nuts. It, the, the, the girl of the, the the girl of the hour, in explicit. I mean, we've all seen Jennifer Lawrence with her face cut. Yeah, is now and you move on you from it. Really shocking. Oh, that was crazy. That was really shocking. Is you saw, you finally saw a a rock and roll guy's cock. Yeah. yeah, like you. I mean, and they can steer a, <laughs> Bob, like Bobby. They can steer a boat just the way you thought. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You I bet never, it can steer a boat. It's so big. The only cock I've ever saw up until then was porn dick, and I don't even know these well, guys. He's got I a, never he had saw a huge a, fucking dick. A famous dick. You know what's funny? For I didn't yeah. watch that video for a year. I think the last time I watched it was on VHS, probably. Yeah. And uh, want to watch it, was, it on my phone? And I, and I always said. <laughs> I, <laughs> I always said over and over, I go, everyone always talks about Tommy Lee's big, huge dick. And I go, I remember being like a long, thin Yeah, it was and long it and it impressive. leaned. I'll tell you what, though. It is. We brought it up on the bonfire a while ago. No, nah, it is a big dick. It was me just making myself feel better. <laughs> it wasn't a big dick? No, it, it is. was a big dick. It can, it can, really it can honk a dick. horn. It's thick and Jesus it's not, it's thick. not skinny. Yeah, he could tattoo his dick. It's a beautiful dick. Christ on the cross, he should. He should. We're going to take our last break. break. You're going to break on signals. that? <laughs> yeah. Guys, a moment <laughs> for Tommy Lee's dick. Go Google that big old well, Have thing. you watched Kim Kardashian's fucking... Oh, we'll you? be of right course. back. We'll talk. We'll jump right back into that. We'll we're going to take a break. It's the Bonfire Live from the Campfire. It's a crossover, you know what, dude. But we also got Mike Feeney, Ari Shafir, Brendan Sagalo, and the You Know What Dude crew. We got, got Gabby. You got Gabby, Gabby Brian, Becky, Mike, Suarez. Mike Suarez, Chris. Becky, you got Chris. Becky Rodriguez. Becky Rodriguez. 
<laughs> she just ate a bag of lettuce. It kind of weirded me out. Christine's, also, <laughs> Christine's watching the fires dance with her eyes. Christine's telling us what our future is. The Lord of Light. <laughs> she's she's seeing some sort of Armenian presence is above that. He <laughs> will die tonight. Easterman. Bobby <laughs> walks into the forest and becomes an old man and yeah. a skeleton and yeah, just drops down. Hey, guys. You guys mind if I, uh, if I hang a line of bells around the perimeter here in case my it follow shows up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I got it. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. We're at the campfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jay Okerson. What's up? Mouthful of... Uh, oh, you're talking about South where the backwoods are? Yeah, where's the backwoods? Oh, I have it. Yes. Open it. So the, those things are fucking crazy. Speaking of crazy, cc.com slash bonfire. Shit's crazy. Pretty crazy that they made us that cool are we website. Doing? Are we barbecuing light bulbs? What are those noises? Our guests, uh, we're, we're going to have a fight with uh, tube lights. Uh, our guests, first from the Irish Goodbye podcast, Mike Feeney. Hey, thanks for having me. And from his own podcast. The Stupid Little Podcast. The Stupid Little Podcast. Wow. Brandon Sagalow. Dude, I don't know if I'm even going to do that anymore. Stop it. Don't give up the game. <laughs> don't gotta stop threatening. No, the last, the last episode I plug. I, I hate it. It's, <laughs> it's not very good. I'm, well, I'm <laughs> weak. I struggle to record. Check out Brian on his own podcast. He goes, if it's even there. <laughs> so I feel good. like I'm stretching the moment I start talking. <laughs> I feel like it's, I'm staring at the clock. <laughs> I did a whole goodbye thing on my last. I'm going to keep going. Oh, cool. So you do have but a- I did a goodbye. I played a montage episode. I did no. I did compilation. I, I have done that. No, but I did the Jerry Lewis sing that that song. something unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, right. I did that as we go on. Yeah. We remember and I. Uh, <laughs> so you have the first suicidal podcast. Dude, you don't even know how right you are about that. So listen to it. Well, all or right. don't. It's not, it might be around. Or it might not. <laughs> yeah. Irish Goodbye Podcast will be there. Is that Mike Cannon is? and Mike Feeney will be there on yep. gasdigitalnetwork.com. Yep. Is this trip about trying to keep Sagalo alive? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is his wish. We have to show him the joie de <laughs> that exists. I, I go into the him. woods, you just hear a gunshot and a bunch <laughs> yeah. of birds yeah. flying. <laughs> Dude, that's, my favorite. that's always my favorite visual. <laughs> well, we can't <laughs> save him now. Like looking quick. We can't save him now. Just Mike's dad having a feeling. <laughs> I gotta call my boy. Something happened. I gotta call my boy. What it, happened to my boy? This don't feel right. Before the break, uh, Feeney was telling a story about hooking up with a chick in her room, and her mom kept yes, coming back in. Yes, she kept coming back in. I'm grabbing her. Um, you know, I had a I had a boob grab. I think I was a boob. I think a boob. A bubba, that's a bubba my favorite. Yeah, you really my are. Favorite. Hey, blast! That's from the past. my favorite pronunciation. Boobs. <laughs> You, you show were your frozen, boobs? weren't you? You're like Steve <laughs> yeah. Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think if I, if memory serves correctly, we got to fingering. That's where I uh, got nice. to. And then How again, old? ninth grade, each other, yeah, ninth grade, and the uh, and fingering yourselves in front of each other. <laughs> <laughs> ninth grade, just <laughs> even she said, "Mike, yeah. I think you're doing it wrong." <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw this in my it's uncle's movies. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle has movies under his bed. <laughs> my uncle's projection movies. Those are harder to watch. These He's, are the magazines under my uncle's bed. He's in our basement. It's just too many fingers. Um, they so you fingered her. So yeah, nice. and then while her mom was like, he had like a blanket over our laps. You know what I mean? While the mom is like coming in and out and everything. So classic. Then I, then I kind of that is classic. Right? It's like Long Island, yeah. fucking middle school, high school fingering That's under a blanket. Dog. People are around you. Oh really? Yeah. Anything to the theory that she absolutely knows you're fingering under there. But what is she, if she? What is she going to yank the thing down then really just <laughs> see it? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'll tell you what, Mama's little girl is going to go down a dark road. <laughs> we gotta send this thing around the horn. We're keeping it too uh, tight. Yeah. This is, yeah. um, I'll pass it to Ari. So, well, Ari's making a thing. Ari's making it over again. Yeah. And, yeah. So it. Uh, Ari's learned his craft of s'more making. <laughs> So we uh, yeah, we like stopped. I think we ended up, you know, we just watched the rest of the movie. Nothing really else happened that next day. The next, uh, the following day, she yelled at me. Was Died like, of toxic shock. Yeah, yeah. She goes, why didn't you, you why didn't you make a move? Dirty she goes, I would have jerked you off. I would have blew you. Why didn't you make a move? I was like, Wait, make a move. Something? My fingers were inside of you. Like, what uh, else did I have to... She wanted you to smash your, her head into your dick. I guess so. Jeez, but that well, was going back to the thing well, that you said, of being abused. so sure that you're, well, yeah, adopted, close. Um, but... <laughs> Nice. That, uh, what was that? She was nice. refurbished. 
Yeah. Um, but no. So it's. Uh, <laughs> but it was like going back to what you said about being so overcautious that it, it fucks you. You had your fingers inside of her. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, that's isn't that? A, isn't that a? That's nuts. Ninth grade. Sorry. Yeah. When I was in eighth grade, I found out my girlfriend got fingered by Everyone. two different dudes. <laughs> nice. The same summer. Wow. Same night. I was riding my bike over the same night, the same time. <laughs> old four fingers. As you, the, uh, the somebody, Atari sign. Every time Dan we starts telling about the story, he's looking into the yeah. fire. Yeah. He's just staring into it. Sometimes I still Dude. see your face in the flames. <laughs> yeah. She was like a damn human bowling ball. <laughs> she couldn't believe the way her eyes widened when she saw me close the padlock on the chains on the door. <laughs> you and think like it, that blue tip match with my fingertip. No matter what anyone says, death doesn't solve your problems. <laughs> Don't stare into the fucking fire. That's why I said that, Robert. It's so beautiful. It is really nice. I though. never got caught uh, fucking by one's parent, but a girl, I mean, a girl that I dated after the girl I lost my virginity to, we didn't fuck, we did everything else, but immediate. She was like a, a fucking bassoon player in the school band. That nice And she dude. like put my hand up her shorts dude, chicks. while her parents were like, I mean, outside of a window on their deck, like barbecuing, like, I mean, behind us, dude, like to a screen, and she was like putting, and I was like terrified. Chicks that it. play specialized instruments are always the freakiest. You hear it's that? always the way that works. You bassoon? That oh, sad boys. Yeah, yeah. Yo, bassoonists suck the best dick. Yeah, that's the way it works. <laughs> but so funny is that. you always thought the band kids and the theater kids were nerds and you realize they're all fucking each other. Oh, yeah. With the flute. I remember Patrice told me a story. He, uh, he, he fucked this white chick who played the uh, viola. <laughs> What is that one? The one you right. you stand up, cello. The cello. Yeah, I played that. And I remember too. he f- he said it was she was such a dirty girl. We're she gonna come so back to that, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> she said, she said, he said, but right after they fucked, she just went over naked and picked up her cello and started playing. He just said it was the fucking same, <laughs> coolest thing he's ever seen. Just some chubby white chick on a cello, I did, naked. That is hot. I, date, I dated a, a Juilliard flautist, and she was one of the wildest fucking a flautist. Yeah. 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 She played the flute, and after she she would ride Jay while playing the flute. I thought she got me, I thought she got me hard. She played me in. <laughs> you think would come out of a basket? Yeah, you go, yeah, baby. You want a basket? <laughs> you want the basket? Yeah, you want the cobra? <laughs> that girl, cobra? that second girl, the one that wanted me to finger her while her parents were right behind us. She never wanted. She wouldn't fuck, but she blew me once. And told me that she wanted me to come in her mouth, and then immediately, like part of her thing when she wants you to come in her mouth is also spitting it right back out into your own bush, uh, into was, your bush. Yeah, that, she wanted a baby puke. Uh, yeah, that's what it looked like. Oh, yeah. Probably. Like, Why that's did disgusting. you want it? Your mouth? Like America's funny some videos where they do it to like yeah. zany music. <laughs> <laughs> it's like babies being like. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather you not. I'd rather I'd rather you not do a dad's beard. Than you to fucking lay gack all over my bush. Yeah. Uh, she wanted to snowball your own bush. It's a real weird thing to pull out of your own bush. <laughs> she tsunamied you. Yeah, it's a cum tsunami. <laughs> because that sucks whipped. it all out. It's, just, it's, it's whipped. Really bad. That's whipped cum. Yeah. Tsunami. <laughs> yeah. Whipped cum is she harder frapp- to get out than she regular cum. Paid my cum in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she and then let it leak back out. Did she yeah, do that's that? terrible. Did she the cappuccino noise, where she yeah. goes. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 She, she foamed me, yeah. dude. She she meringued your jizz, <laughs> dude. Please, someone, please, whatever. She churned. If you're a female camper, please once suck your boyfriend's dick, have the cum in your mouth, and shoot it back in his bush, and yeah. yell tsunami. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's disgusting, dude. Do you know what just I happened here? Wait, can we talk about what just happened here? It's all comics sitting around talking at a campfire, and Dan's first joke was the tsunami thing. Yeah. And then we went on and made 11 more jokes, and then Dan goes, oh, we got to really get to become a thing, you know? The tsunami <laughs> one. He goes, and 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 trademark. Like, everybody went, uh, that's the one we got to be- become a thing. Just like I another go, Gator go, The cappuccino's fun, but trademarked is tsunami. Yeah, he wants another Gator I mean, fight. Exactly. I remember I came around earlier with that tsunami thing. I think that was the best we should go back. Probably, you know 
what? I'm going to go tell them to print up the suit on the shirt. Can we just, <laughs> you're like, you open your trunk, you already have them printed. Yeah, you're like, guys, oh, is this? You guys can sign off on this real quick if you want. Time? Can I just I say something? To that one. Can we all just acknowledge that our friend Ari Shafir is making a gummy bear s'mores on a spatula? Wait, is that really what you're doing? Oh, well, he's high. And, uh, chips, too. And chips? Is that our, is that our chips? burger There's spatula? Chips? Sour cream and onion. And Wait, the best what? Never, ever. Oh my God, that's just Gee, what? What weed are you smoking? Yeah, yeah. fucking Spicoli. <laughs> oh my uh, God, are you I'm an alien trying to prove you're human by There's tr- no way that's put good. the wrong food? No I like sour sweet cream flavors. and onion, gummy bears, yeah. you're in my mouth. You're not any sugar. Marshmallow, chocolate, it's and graham sour cream. cream and onion chips. Yeah. Jesus, you can't smit the world of me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sugar, is it alright if I uh, yeah. if I put some of these Sour Patch Kids in with this chocolate milk? <laughs> Maybe some of the cereal. <laughs> also, that tsunami joke was probably the best of the <laughs> Hey, while well, tsunami jokes lingering around, someone probably just jot it down. Maybe we'll call the show that. Maybe the episode should be called Tsunami. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm spitballing again. You know, Peggy, clip Peggy. it for the best of, just in case. <laughs> Lou Whitsky, if you're clipping it, it's dance on her. I know I'm doing a voice, but I'm speaking directly to you. Is that good, Becky? <laughs> this joint is unbelievable. Not you, uh, the what? joint, uh, the, no, the sour cream. You know about I'm this joint about to make me run in the woods, go fucking. You try to argue. Tick hunting? Mm-hmm. Don't eat with Ari. That's going to come out of you looking exactly like that. <laughs> so good. There's no way you mean that. Yeah, he, you really do eat like elf. What kind of chip is that? <laughs> 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 like syrup. Dumping syrup on chips. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Or splash. <laughs> Remember to splash? You know how to eat? <laughs> Put everything on bread. <laughs> oh, Jay, Jay just did the same joke right after one just killed. Yeah. It was like Splash. Splash is probably a little more historically accurate, but Dan's was good too. <laughs> Jay, and I, Jay and I are in a merch war. <laughs> if we get... Splash for a tsunami. He goes, uh, Jay, can I talk to you real quick? You just see us. You guys get woke up in the night camping, us yelling in the cabin. Who's got We're a better hoodie, right? We're going to sell tsunami and elf shirts. <laughs> Splash won't give us the trademark. Oh, it was a mermaid in five. All right, you know what? We'll go your way. We'll see how it works out. Get a ride home. I gotta get a ride home with Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, can I get a ride home? Uh, Everything going all right with the bonfire? Uh, ah, just taking call? it to an actual bonfire was a mistake. Yeah. Is that a joint or a cigar? It's a cigar joint. It's called a blunt, Bobby. <laughs> it's called a Bobby, <laughs> all your years in comedy, how many other comics have you fucked in front of? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Not Bobby, not, I've known you but for in front of. Bobby, I know I've known you for I remember, eleven years, I, and I, I never remember, thought of such a great question. I remember in. Uh, <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I think it was Ke- yep. Keith and Patrice. All right, sure. That I mean, adds up. Jim Norton has to be. One. Norton just saw me get my ass eaten. <laughs> and he well, almost, you on all fours? He saw it. In no, front, he I saw had, it in point of view. <laughs> no, he was in. He was on the computer. I was down his dark hallway. And I had my my my. <laughs> That's what he calls his butthole. I, <laughs> That's what he calls his butthole. I was down my dark hallway. <laughs> and I I had my leg up on his wall, which is my sock on. Oh, dude, and you I, were you were giving him the Captain Morgan. He actually told the story on stage. He goes, he goes. All of a sudden, I just heard. <laughs> How deep was her finger? And <laughs> no, she she got a little nugget. Can you gag? We did the boat ride. Remember the boat ride? Yeah, yeah we, did, we did the boat ride, and I had a little nugget or something. She got in her mouth. Yeah, a sea salt. No, a little, maybe a, a little underwear, nugget? a little underwear nugget. You know, did you was present? Your butt? You... How was she eating your butt? Like a uh, like when a basset hound drinks water? Like no, she was eating uh, more like a, I don't know, more like a kid eating ice cream. No, like a, Working the sides. Yeah. yeah right up nice. the strip. No drips. Yeah, it was nice. Right was your good. leg up on the wall. Yeah, my leg up on the wall. That was yeah. skinny back then. And that was in front of Norton? Yeah, he was on the computer. And was, I, she, he, was she playing the tube? Was she like, a little bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Such cool. Stroking your bit, dick yeah. while eating Rusty your butt. trombone. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. And then giving I, you the Dizzy Gillespie? <laughs> I think there's been a couple other people, I think, yeah. Dan, I bet you have your answer is none. Uh, that's Nothing. not true. I fucked in front of. Well, Nate heard me have sex. That doesn't count. So is Vecchion. Who have I fucked? That in doesn't front count. Of Derosa. No. <laughs> is it a bigger number, Bobby? If we ask how many comics have fucked in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. probably, goes seven, he goes, probably goes 17 I can't Me and you Bob have never Marley. done any We've never met chicks together No Right? We just ate together Yeah 
Right? Did we go? We went to a strip club once. Oh, the one in uh, oh in twice Albany. actually we went. We went all. We also went in in uh, North Carolina once. But the Troy one was bad. That was me, you, Bobby. That was and me, you, uh, Bill Burr, and DeRosa. Joe DeRosa. And he got into he got DeRosa, typical fucking wants to return everything. Got in an argument about a strip, uh, he, about a lap dance. He, he wanted to return a lap dance. Yeah, he wanted because we got a coin. He wanted you his do money that? back. <laughs> no, you can't. She you can't though. <laughs> He's like, the guy kept going. Listen, sir, I don't. She, I'm sorry if you wanted her to grind on you. No, He's to like, grind on your lap. And yeah, he, he, kept he spoke that. to the manager. About he kept it? going. Yes. Hey, I never said grind. Stop saying grind. He's he like, he was getting so flustered. The guy goes, sir. And then, he, and then when he starts, sees it becoming a scene, the ball, the owner is leaning into it. Yeah. He's like, sir, I don't know what you expect for that money. She's not just gonna grind, grind all over <laughs> your lap. <laughs> and Joe's like, stop saying it. Joe, Joe was like, stop saying grind. So I never funny. said grind. That's so. Funny. Oh, dude, we would do. We were at this place. It was dead. I go up to the guy. I go, "Hey, can we smoke here?" It's a he, house. He goes over like to the house. guy. He goes over to the front door, locks it. He goes, "You can now." Hey. And it was just me, DeRosa, Burr, Jay, and I think one other guy. Then all the strippers turned into the vampires, <gasps> and things got real. Oh my serious. god, you guys got dust till dawn, did? <laughs> almost. I mean, yeah, this girl. Like it was bizarre. Two girls walk into this. It was a pit with a bag of dildos. <laughs> the, 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 wait, the like a bag, like the like, a the like bag. A garbage bag. Dude, the front like of the building was like a house. Zone? It looked yeah. like a house. Yeah, sort of even inside. It like the house they put like a stripper pole. It was dude. Crazy. If it's a garbage bag, that's gross. No, it was a duffel bag. Okay, they bust out a duffel bag like. So, too so, bad. But we didn't know what was going on. He goes. It is now. Then he went into the thing, and he these two girls walked. They were looking at us, like smiling. It was just us, and we all get around the pit, and we're looking down, and they start doing all this crazy shit. But as they're doing it, the DJ's lowering the lights. Yeah. So as they start to get real fucked up, yeah. the light it's almost out. He go, and he goes, "You want the lights back up? Start tipping, fellas." And we waited until you couldn't see, <laughs> and she's just about to jam this thing, and the Lights go down, then <laughs> woo, we just start throwing so one to five. The contrast for a new TV. <laughs> yeah, tell us when you can oh. almost see the dot. <laughs> if the box is out, and then they yeah. whip the lights up, and like, woo, and shit would just be flying Dude, in every giant. Oh yeah, Dude, they were like people from going fucking, in there with yeah. like night goggles on, oh, you know, yeah. like yeah, we even uh, I don't give it. You get a bunch of bunch of green bitches eating <laughs> each other's pussies. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Top Clancy, rainbow stick scissors. <laughs> or for six months you just eat carrots so he kills the lights and you're like I've been yeah, like, like, preparing so for this for months for months. <laughs> <laughs> you know, jokes on you cocksucker I gave up daytime hours just to learn how to move in the dark I've grown mole eyes <laughs> yeah then he I'm goes night walker now <laughs> he goes uh, he he got us so horned up and then right I, he did it like five or six times we were so horned up he goes alright right now two for one Lap dances upstairs, fellas. Yeah, and everybody next went. to my sister Marcy's room. <laughs> I, did, I, didn't I didn't go on pure broke. Actually, no, I didn't go. Me, you, and <laughs> goes, Bill didn't go. Joe's the only one that went. Oh, is he the only Joe's one, that went? one that went? For he sure, goes, yeah. don't don't lock the bathroom because you'll get locked inside of it. Yeah, he goes, I, all right, guys, avoid the third bathroom to the left. That's my <laughs> mom's room. Be cool. She's at her friend's house. <laughs> I would have went. I was broke, but I, I so I couldn't go. Joe went. Yeah. Joe went for it. Joe's like that day. I think there's a connection. But that night was great. So we essentially borderline got asked to leave. Because yeah, we got asked to leave. And then there was a gift shop on the way out. And Bobby, there's a gift shop? Yeah, Porn Bobby bought a porno. And Bobby was the only person who could afford a, a laptop at the time. And then we went and we went back. Me and Joe went back to our hotel room. And Bobby uh, <laughs> called us to say, you know, enjoy our fucking... Queer fest in our room because yeah. he's about to jerk off to this porn on his laptop, <laughs> and then ten minutes later we heard a knock on the door, and uh, I opened the door and no one was there, and I went in the hallway and looked, and there was a rag on my doorknob that I grabbed it, and I was like, I thought maybe there was like something written on it, and then, <laughs> I mean, point point one four seconds after that moment I realized that I was holding Bobby's cum rag. <laughs> And then what Bobby great, called the room again. This is like when you're, this wasn't even everyone, like, we all had cell phones, but like, you were calling room to room. And Bobby goes, cocksucker, did you get my fucking cum rag? And I go, yeah. <laughs> if someone what gets you, it's always good to tell them, too, to let them know. You're like, yeah, you got me. I definitely touched your cum. I think it was uh, something with kidnapping. 
Like kidnapped ass. <laughs> I don't know kidnapped what it was. Ass. Kidnapped, kidnapped ass. ass. 14. Yeah. <laughs> we kidnapped your wife again. <laughs> Yeah, they're. Uh, I don't. Th- I, I don't. I don't think there's any comics I fucked in front of. I didn't think you did. You're a vampire, dude. Yeah, yeah you don't. You don't look like. I wouldn't want you to fuck in front of me. Thanks, man. I, you know what I mean? I would. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I want you to fuck right in front of me. Thanks, baby. I want to look at you the whole time, baby. <laughs> you fuck I, in front of Bobby Lee? Yeah. Hey, why don't, why don't you come sit here, buddy? I'll spend the smoke screen. Hey, sit over here. Yeah. No, that's okay, actually. Yeah, me and Bobby were in La Jolla, and we went back with two chicks, and he went, took his to the, uh, what? No, I was going to say, you were in the same room? Yeah, same room. We took these chicks back, and his chick got weird, because we were like, you know, two beds, yeah. and they went to the walk-in closet, and then she was like, nope, we're not doing anything. <laughs> and so he looked out through the grate in the closet to the bed of me just pile-driving this chick. Wow. Yeah, he just sat there. Took her to slam town? Yeah, he just sat there and watched it, straight down the legs. Wow, and then, really? Yeah, yeah wow. Tron. Tron-like. Wow, that's weird. First-person shooter style? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a weird way to watch sex. Usually you want to watch third-person style. <laughs> <laughs> I've never slammed anybody. I've poked. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you stay <laughs> yeah. That's what you stool? get. The whole stool came out. That's what you fucking get Dude, for telling me to move it. It was a foot deep into the ground. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I stood up like Daredevil. <laughs> he stood up. <laughs> Is this place haunted? <laughs> God, it's so deep in there. Are we evil, like, Daddy? <laughs> it's soft. That's why I wasn't saying. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You really saved yourself. Oh, my God. I would have slammed back into you it. You understand the excitement a fat guy feels when that happens and it's not him that happens to you. <laughs> I just to feel you because it's not going to... I call myself... The seller once when he used to have those outside chairs. I sat down on one and I just felt the metal going. And I just was able to like catch something up to like get back up and be like, "No way, dude!" I ain't going down. And I didn't tell anybody about that it was going down. I go, "Let the next asshole find out." Dude, I was at a barbecue place with Patrice, and he ordered so much food. <laughs> and he went and he sat. He fucked. You know, Patrice used to fuck with the the girls, so he's fucking with this girl. She really wasn't having it. And he went and sat down, and a metal chair just snapped. Oh. And he fucking fell on his asshole. <laughs> but he saved his plate of barbecue. <laughs> oh. well, yeah. I think a tick just landed on me. But How do you know it's a tick? I don't know, but something landed on me. How do you know? Me. You won't just, feel no, a tick. A little, yeah. Do you tick sleep? No, you don't feel ticks. Oh, they may... Mm, do ticks sleep? Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. They go to bed at eight. <laughs> what time do ticks go to bed? Damn, when they wake damn, up early high. and they hunt. Yeah. I don't know, man. Are they a daytime tick or you know night tick? <laughs> what are we tick. talking? Are we talking nocturnal ticks? Yeah, or? guys. I was trying to know what my enemy is. <laughs> I was trying to learn, grow, evolve. That's the only comic you ever fucked in front of? Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah, I fucked with other guys in the other room. I don't yeah. understand. That's that seems like more the norm. I mean, yeah, dude, I, I got I got alone. a pretty good lineup of guys fucking in other rooms. I got Vecchione. Yeah, dude, listen. Early in Nate. headlining, I wanted to bring <laughs> his wife, other was, yeah. comic. I wanted to bring friends in the road so bad that I would always accept a deal that was just they crash in the room with me. Yeah, so several comics. <laughs> you <laughs> had you had people fuck huh? in front of you. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, you and Kurt, right? That I'm was a saying. Wow, you made me say you fucking piece of shit. Who? 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 Say it, Kevin Hart. Who? Or Kurt Metzger? Huh? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kermetzker. Kevin Hart. <laughs> Kevin Hart fucked in front of you. We know he fucked in front of Kermetzker. you. Kermetzker. Who f- say it? Well, we told a story together in Montreal where uh, oh, so you did. A, oh, girl, yeah. a girl that uh, I was fucking around with, he, she sucked his dick in the back seat while I was driving. Yeah, he told that story on the show. Yeah. Jesus Christ, really? Yeah, I, when he started telling it in Montreal, I did think it was weird that he was telling the story. I go, it doesn't, it doesn't make him look awesome. Yeah. It definitely You're, seems like a dick move. Yeah. But you uh, just driving him around like an Uber driver? Yeah. 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 And then the you girl got out of the Let car, me know when you come, Seth. I'll pull over. And the girl swung around the door and kissed me right on the lips. Hey. I know. It was so weird. Uh, oh so God. I have sucked the dick of the star of night school. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. fucking hose out here say shit like that? Get close to those Jumanji lips. Christine sucked the 
the dick of the man who sucked the dick. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What do you mean? You mean Christine right here? Christine? Yeah, I sucked the man of the man who sucked the dick. <laughs> what she sucks you? my dick. Oh, oh I got you. She sucked the dick of the guy who sucked Kevin Hart's dick. Yeah, they're sorry. saying how Christine's lips and Kevin Hart's dick are Eskimo brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, uh, that's yeah, the yeah, lot. Uh, thank you, Dan, for putting it in layman's terms. <laughs> that's the layman's terms. That's the dick, that's that's really the dick family like. tree. Yeah, but a bunch of comics. Yeah, Name for another sure. one. Name another one. I mean, Patrice? One Let's just... Patrice? No, the not Lewis Patrice, one. but but I have done something in front of Patrice. You fuck something in front of Patrice, like what a guy organized by Patrice, dude. It was great. What right. was it? What do you mean? I'm trying to think if I can tell these stories. You can I mean, tell me he's I dead. Mean, yeah, he's dead. On anybody or anything, so he's it dead. He's fucking dead. Well, he's dead, but it also wasn't like he didn't do anything. But his uh, wife, they were swingers too, right? This is before Vaughn, like far okay. before Vaughn. Um. So well, we, were a gig. we did a gig. <laughs> we did a gig together. Yeah. And uh, oh man, there's another comic who's involved in it. Well, implicate him. Come on, let's go. Bust I this can't. open. He's super close to home. <laughs> you better say who it is after. Is it right here, right now? No. Is he still but I mean, up? we're one degree of Kevin Bacon from him. What? Lewis. Lewis. Nope. Lewis. I'm glad you guys don't. Oh, oh Miller Man. Really? All right. Just keep going. I won't say it. I won't blow who it is. Who is it? I'll tell you this. When when, I, when the show's over and I do reveal who it is, yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't have never guessed it. You would have never guessed it. And it's crazy. It's great. I know it is. It's Nate. No. It's no. not. It's not Nate. Nope. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, good. I mean, it's definitely Nate. God, that rich uh, really does do fuck game. with your balls, yeah. dude. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, that thing really wails on your balls, right? Your Watch out. It's a different one completely. <sighs> it really jostles them, right? Well, it makes them pick a side. No, I'm good. He's I'm on good. a fucking I'm, I'm good right here. It's like a knuckle graze. Got yeah. Uh, Patrice, yeah, so we do this gig, and uh, afterwards we go back to the hotel. Me and the uh, other guy are sharing a room. And we're hanging out at the hotel bar, and Patrice went to his room. And like a half hour later, calls and goes, uh, he goes, yo, come up to my room real quick. And he, he tells me his room with the other guy. So I go, sure. And we get up there, and just uh, a big, heavy set black lady. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> naked. Okay. Butt naked. Answers Could the door. And yeah. she goes... You looking for Patrice? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, which already started. I started laughing immediately because I just know Patrice. What he's doing only is bringing in. He goes, "Want to make two white boys uncomfortable?" <laughs> and that's all that was happening was uh, making two white. And she just stood there naked. And he went, uh, "Yeah, this is my friend, so and so. She said she never blew a white boy before, so <laughs> here you go." <laughs> and then uh, she she blew you. Yeah. What? Did she blow the other guy. Uh, yep. It was. Yep. It was attempted. It. it was attempted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was funny though. But it was like you couldn't get it up. No. Well, no, because when it was <laughs> happening to me, is. when it was happening, yes, yeah, that's what, what it was. Derosa. No, when it was happening to me, he was standing yeah. in the corner like the Blair Witch was killing someone else. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's got to be So, but oh, you, so, I just cracked my teeth. So he was wait. So he was looking at the corner of the room. What was it? I think really having a real dental problem. No, you're okay. <laughs> you're fine. I can see it from here. Did he? Did he really look at? I cracked myself so hard the microphone. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Is it bleeding? No, you're good. There's no bloody. It really just. Smacked only my teeth. <laughs> yeah. So what happened? So he would, literally was in the corner of the room, and then we like did chance and pressured him into trying it. Also, <laughs> what? And then he was like, uh, he's he like did I, what? I, and he just uh, watching a guy get blown by a big fat black one who's really doing like the <laughs> bwah, bwah, bwah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, I can't, I can't. Ew. It's not my thing. I'm sorry. I can't. And oh. me and Patrice just laughing. By the way, Patrice was laying on a bed that was, he was surrounded like a, uh, like murder marker. Yeah. You know, like the murder scene marker of, yeah. of glass and assorted dildos. <laughs> just like they I'm, were around him like a king. When he, when he, he became Dr. Dr. Dildo, Dildo. I know. That was his comic book the name. bag. When he went to Brazil, he couldn't fuck anymore. Why? 
He just couldn't do it. He just didn't get off. Oh. So he became Dr. Dildo. So he'd fly with a bag, a duffel sure. bag full of these expensive glass dildos That's and vibrators. Crazy. What? And he would make hook. He would pay hookers, and they'd come up, and he he gave a class one night. I have a photo. I have one photo of him giving this class to all of us in this hotel room. And he was teaching. I remember it was Jim Norton. He was Norton was just looking like a little student, <laughs> and uh, he was teaching he how to notebook? use a glass dildo and a vibrator at the same time. What? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. He had, and he would walk through customs. We'd all just let him go first, so we could see his bag go through the. <laughs> and he would just go. Just as soon as the guy looked at him, he'd be, he'd be like, "Yeah." What are you gonna do? It was Brazil, man. What are you gonna do? And the guy was just like, "Go, take your bag of dildos." We went. We came the first time we ever came to New York. Me, Bill, Patrice, Dane, uh, Bob Marley. We all came in and we did all the clubs. We did all that bullshit, and then we went to the peep show, the round one, where you stick your head in. And it was like a genie's bottle, and they'd have like two chicks with C-sections just sitting down. Ooh, hell yeah! And uh, I remember we we <laughs> we all our heads went in. We were just looking at each other like, "What the fuck?" And then uh, the thing would go down. We're home. And they, they'd be go, "You tipping? You tipping?" And uh, Patrice was giving. Didn't he, he just saw Patrice giving him money, and he'd just be just grabbing a big titty. And then licked the nipple a little bit through this little window, and he ran out of money. All of a sudden, my door opens, and he came in my little booth, <laughs> and he mushed my head, literally popped through the thing. And he's like, Bobby, get that one over there. And I was like, what? He's like, get that girl. I had to call this old black lady over with the C-section. Come here, please, ma'am. <laughs> he goes, tip her. I go, What? He goes, I got no money. Tip that bitch. So I had to take out my money and tip this lady while Patrice just stuck his hand around my face and just squeezed her titties. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Yeah, he was a piece of shit, man. How about when, he, when Kevin Hart caught him jerking off in his apartment <laughs> when he was what? staying with Kevin in L.A. and Kevin went in the room and Patrice didn't stop jerking off. He just leaned back and was shooing him away with his hands <laughs> saying, get the fuck out of here. And then closed the little, you know, like the accordion doors. Like, yeah. He, he yeah. He didn't stop jerking off. Dude, that's leave, awesome. Leave so I can finish. That's like a meditation, like a devotion. He's yeah, like, I'm he's, jerking off. You better get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he was a piece of shit. That's one of my crazier stories. That's so funny. Who was the other guy? <laughs> I can't say. You'll tell us right off the air. Oh, oh yeah. The air. And, we're, and the episode's over, so we can find out very but soon. Dude, I don't think comics do that shit anymore, though, right? They must. They uh, I don't think so. I, I, I don't hear any fucking stories of comics banging in front of each other. Yeah, who's talking to you about what they do? Yeah. I, we, we hey, Bobby, do you want to hear a sensual Bobby, tale? Like, yeah, but you'd hear that <laughs> shit. You'd hear that Tales shit. Tales of ribaldry with oh. Robert Kelly. I mean, and Bobby, you, I need to tell you something. Forlorn and... <laughs> Forlorn? I don't know. <laughs> I happened upon her in the forest. Hope Nina, you never banged, <laughs> right? In front of the people? I, uh, I was at a comedy festival, and we all, like, a bunch of comics rented a big house. And Gang two of the shit. comics, two of the, two of the comics, they were, I was, like, sleeping on the couch, and it was, like, there's a kid, it was the living room, it was right next to the kitchen, and they were in this open kitchen, hardcore, like, making out, and then, like, Laying on the ground, you could hear like every inch of what they were doing. So I kept trying to be like, <coughs> you know, making like any sort of fucking notification. And then he even they eventually went. I think he's. I think he's. I can hear everything they're saying. And they go. I think he's awake. And just one of the guy goes, "Who cares?" And then the girl went, "Let's just go in the bathroom. It'll be better." And they go into the bathroom. And then oh, you should start to, snoring, dude. And they, they then they proceeded. What's to, wrong with you, you dude, puss? No, you should have no. done cartoon story yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, no, they they fucked so loudly in the bathroom, like and the whole rest of the all of us woke up. Yeah, like, they were like, yeah. Oh, God. This, this we might as there. well, we might as well be in the this fucking Dick Van Dyke. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I heard someone's five sex in the bathroom once. <laughs> what the fuck? Why didn't you join in? I've jerked off with a cup with a cup to my ears against the wall in a hotel room. Oh, someone else is glistening. Yeah. In. No, no, man, yeah. you get to see him the next day. <laughs> you hope to see him. I, so I, one time in. I ran out of my room to see one. <laughs> oh, hello. But you, you oh, Brennan, oh, oh, Brennan, you never banged in front of somebody, right? <laughs> no, never. It's I don't think comics do that shit anymore. No. I think no, I, they do. They do, right? Some people do. 
They do. They you're I, also like you're the most like you're the deviant group of comics. So it's like you and your friends oh that have like <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is that? God damn. Maybe we're I mean, normal. You guys, no, you're not. You're deviants. What I'm a the deviant fuck, too. Jay? I'm a offended. lot of a lot of you know. You're saying Chris Gether wasn't doing that with his friends. I'm saying like of the people that are going to do, do it. Hear about like those old those, guys in the skate. Those original hot tub shows. Well, you know what happened? That's when you, find, <laughs> you find out Chris. Then Gethard, why do we have these fags here? We're the deviant young guys. Well, you find out. Like Chris Gethard used to like bite hookers or something. You know what I mean? We do it all. We do it all openly. <laughs> Everyone's open creeps. Yeah. That's the thing. As we what? find out, you find out the guy who's like Chris Gethard. You find out he used to like bite hookers, like skin off. Jesus. Yeah. Or are you talking about like Mark? No, he did not. He's it's, it's, it's hypothetical. Yeah, but we're telling these stories. It's a joke. We're telling these stories a long time ago, so we can kind of get away with it. True. Oh, yeah. You guys can't really tell these. I mean, you can't. It's oh, it's very present tense. Yeah. These are. Yeah, that's true. These are old stories. <laughs> Younger I comics. You tell who more, hates you, it, it who laughs fun. the hardest. Just bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Damn, that, Gabby, wow, that, that traveled. That yeah. The whole uh-huh. like, can we get another log on there? I'm, you think somebody over there was like, is that someone screaming? Someone gets stabbed? We got to wrap this up. We're going to actually hang out by the fire now. It's the uh, bonfire. I want to thank everybody for hanging out. Brendan Sagalo. Go check him out on his, or don't check him out on, on his, his podcast. Check him out on his podcast, whatever it was called. <laughs> whatever it was called. It was called This is Stupid, and it's Stupid dumb little podcast. Stupid little podcast. Even the name of it, stupid little podcast. <laughs> also, check out Irish Goodbye, Mike Feeney and Mike Cannon on Gabby, Gabby, Gabby Wind. What? There's a Gabby Wind. Please talk with the oh, wind. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, of course, Ari Shafir, Skeptic Tank Podcast, AriShafir.com. Thanks, everybody. This episode has been brought to you by Fire. Fire. Also, this summer, go get some see some fire. Get ready for Skank Fest, Ari Shafir Skank Fest this summer. Oh yeah, everybody wants to hear who this comic was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to hang up and do it. And, of course, you know what, dude? Bobby yes. Kelly in the group. Yeah, guys. Thanks for... Uh, right, Chris, Gabby. Thanks for inviting us out here, Bobby. This is yeah. great, man. This is thanks for coming. You. Hopefully, we do this uh, every year. Comedy yeah, camp. We come idea. out here. Yeah. We do this. We make it bigger. Invite some people. It's a lot of fun. And this then we, we can start fucking each other in front yes. of each other. And then, yeah, finally, finally when, there's, when there's enough places where every room's got more than one person <laughs> in it, we can start fucking seriously fucking You just hear Mike Feeney going... Um, um, um. Oh, I don't know. I think you should be kissing yeah. first. He's like, "Can I listen from a from a closet in another cabin?" Yeah. I go, "Feeny, here's no one heard of courting anymore." Jay, what did Feeny, you say? Here's, you're about to hear two things. <laughs> Me do some light ear work on the couch, and then go to the bathroom and slam this piece. Whatever happened to a lady? These women are sluts. Oh, I say, I heard he didn't even take off a corset. Yes, I heard two people making love once through a door. That's that that's beautiful. beautiful. Let's, well, let's go, hang let's this go rob up so a cab. His name, yeah, dude. Let's go. Yeah, let's get the name. Let's get the name. Do you guys want to just go stranger somebody where we put on fucking nondescript <laughs> masks and just knock on their door? Just and never talk? There, like that we should do it. We just keep just keep looking confused. You know what like, we should do? We should do it. We should do it. We should do what the Japanese people do. We'll all just go get a couple and just start throwing them in the air <laughs> and then walk away and not say anything. They do that. Yeah. Let's go to Japan. You ever see those pantsing videos from Japan with sharking? Shark. Yeah. They just pull down a girl's skirt and run. So weird. So. Weird. Baby shark. You never heard they that. They show the crime, still blur the muff. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. You, n- you never I'm saw the uh, the hundred year the hundred uh, the hundred mad mob. Well, a hundred. This is what happened. A hundred Japanese people. There'll be one guy walking down the street just with his briefcase going home from work. A hundred people will just run up quietly behind him and then surround him and then just start picking him up and throwing him in the air <laughs> and then leave. Oh, and he's like, "What the that. fuck? Uh-huh. Let's do that." <laughs> Let's do that. A hundred There's man enough mob. manpower here to do it, man. Oh, man, we could totally do it. At Toss bon- around campfire people? At the Bonfire SXM on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, cc.com slash bonfire. How about dansoder.com? BigJComedy.com, RobertKellyLive.com. Gay to fight. Gay to fight. Gay, gay, for, gay for pay. Gay for pay. Gay for pay. Um, and we'll catch you guys next time on the Bonfire. The first Bonfire in front of the Bonfire. Bonfire.